think cheat more, men or women? Men stupid. Yeah. If men knew how much women cheat, they'll stop cheating. She did some things to him she'll never do to you. What? Oh, man! Oh, oh you didn't know that? <laughs> <laughs> she did, and I already know what she did to me. Oh, she's she doing more than him. What she did to you ain't nothing. Because she more free with him. Yeah. Oh, Lord, wait. All my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price. Want a slice, got to roll the dice. That's why, all my life, I've been grinding all my life. Yeah. All my life. Grinding all my life, sacrifice, hustle, pay the price. Want a slice, got to roll the dice. That's why all my life I've been grinding all my life. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL playoffs, is bringing you an offer that will help make the playoffs electrifying. New customers can bet five bucks on any game and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and see code Shannon. New customers can bet just five bucks and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with the code Shannon. The crown is yours. Hello, welcome to another edition of Club Shay Shay. I am your host, Shannon Sharp. I'm also the proprietor of Club Shay Shay. The guy that's stopping by for conversation and drink today is from a very small town in Georgia to mainstream superstardom. One of the fastest rising stars in the United States. He's one of the most in-demand uh, touring comedians in the country. A well-known actor, entertainer, talented stand-up comedian, a master storyteller, successful author, a viral social media star, content creator, producer, internet entrepreneur, and boss. Help is on the way. My homeboy, Country Wayne. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? How you doing, man? From a small town, Millen, Georgia. Millen, Georgia. Have anybody, when you meet anybody, do anybody know where Millen, Georgia nah. is besides me? Oh, you know where Millen, Georgia is? I'm from Glenville, Georgia. Okay. <laughs> oh, hello. Are you from Glenville? I'm from Glenville. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, Jenkins County, I think that's Jenkins the Jenkins County, yep. I don't know if we played y'all. I think y'all were class A. They all very, very yeah. small school. Yeah, 1A. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> small, small, small In between, town, if I'm not mistaken, like Statesboro and Augusta. Yep, Statesboro and Augusta. Yeah, y'all over there in like Scribbing County like that. So, man, yep. Yeah, so how you do? Well, you're a country boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. We go. So how you been, man? I've been good, brother. Good? I've been good. Really man. good. You do you better than good. Oh yeah. The thing, you know, things good, man. Hey, we we're above the water. We're above the water. Well, I know you don't drink. You say you didn't want none of that chew serum, so you got some water. So yeah, you know, I don't want whatever you had. <laughs> boy, you got <laughs> all the best, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That right here, right there, that had you right. Yeah, I I know. <laughs> That's something different. That's that's number one in the country, right? Whatever that is right now, boy, that's it. That's that real stuff. That's this is uh, my own Shea by Laporte. So yeah. make sure you go and get your bottle. <laughs> <laughs> when I was doing my research, man, I want to know if this is true. Mm -hmm. Ten kids. Oh yeah. Five baby mamas. Yeah. The kids age and range from seven to twenty-two. No, no. Uh, uh, you got some younger than seven? No, eighteen. To, I mean, two to eighteen. Two, two to eighteen. Two to eighteen. So let. <laughs> Hold on. First kid in high school at 17. Mm -hmm. Second at 18. Mm -hmm. Third at 19. Yeah. Having kids in high school. Uh-huh. How, how you do your homework and be a dad Man. at the same time? It was crazy. Like, I kind of stopped doing my work. <laughs> yeah, I barely graduated high school. Hey, but... You know, I, I had kind of gave up, man. Once I had those kids, I had gave up on my dream. I was like, you know what? I'm going to give all my life to my kids. So what did you want to be? Uh, what I want to be, I want to be, a, I want to be a rapper at first. Okay. Yeah. So I had kind of gave up on it. You know, uh, I want, I wanted to be in the entertainment business, but you know, when you had them kids, I was keeping it real. I'm like, man, that's over with. I don't messed up too much. Right. Cause from the age of 14 to 22, I had so many women through in that time and stuff like that. I was like, all right, this is my punishment. So were this in Millen? Yeah. Millen and Statesboro, Georgia. So they had to, I mean, they had to like know each other. A couple of them had to know each other. Wayne. Yeah, all of them know each other. God, come on, Wayne. How you pull that off? Man, we're in a small town. We ain't got, ain't, ain't too many. Well, I mean, you could have went to Augusta. You could have. Yeah, went. we went to, it was a few in Augusta. <laughs> but them boys, them boys in uh, Augusta don't play by their girls. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. So when you tell your mom, you sit down and you tell your mom. Now, my mom, my mom, she passed away when I was 11. Okay, so your yeah. grandmother raised you? Yeah, okay. kind of. But I was kind of out there a little bit. So, oh, uh, okay. I was I was a free kid. Like I'm that kid. I ain't got no curfew or nothing. Like uh, you know, I was staying with the people on uh, my cousins on my dad's side. Right. But you know, I ain't have no I ain't had no restrictions. I just right. made sure I did my work though. Right. I made sure I did right. my work, played sports, but I was kind of free. 
had your mom been alive or if your dad been a situation, do you mm-hmm. think that would have occurred? Or if you had someone to sit down and say, come on, okay, well, you got one. You know, yeah. that first one is a slip up is a mistake. Yeah. You're like, okay, son, you're still in high school now. You still got your whole life ahead of you. Mm-hmm. Let's try not to make this mistake again. Nah, if my mom was here, that wouldn't, that wouldn't have happened. All, all that wouldn't happen because she would, first of all, some of the situations I went with them baby mamas, my, my mom would have cussed them out anyway, so we would have been cut off. <laughs> so, you know, my mom, my mom would have kind of had a little different restriction on it. I wouldn't have right. been so loose, for real. You had kids like four days apart. Yeah, uh, hold up. Yup. Like, yo, like two weeks apart. Two weeks apart. Mm-hmm. So They got a birthday party coming up together. Um, together coming up yeah they they chilly together they they close wow how how did you before i go how did you manage to put how did you manage to because it seems to me and, I, and i've seen a, uh, a couple of your interviews before mm-hmm. is that that it's like like a little family like yeah. y'all cool that hey, hey i know you you i know you you know me hey we all in this thing together let's make it work yeah it take a lot of money <laughs> <laughs> it take a lot of money to build that village, boy. It take, you know, I realized it, that that's what it took. It was a certain amount of money to finally get them baby mamas. Right. To be like, all right. So it was a certain amount of money that I had to realize, okay, let me make sure you straight for real. Not right. just a kid. You got a house, you got a car, you got a house, you got a car, and put everybody on the same level, kind of. And they all just, hey, man. They so there together. wasn't a competition because sometimes, okay, if she gets $5, $100 mm-hmm. more, well, I got to go back because I can't let her get more than me. Yeah. I can't let her have more than me. You gave her a car, I need a car. If she help, you helping her with her rent and mortgage, you need to help me too. Yep. So you taking all that out of it. Taking all that out. You got this, she got this, she got this, she got this, everybody equal, let's be happy. Let's get it. Yep. So when you had the kids two weeks apart, so how you go back up there and the nurses see you? They just saw you two weeks ago in here with a baby. Yeah, they they judge me with their eyes because you know <laughs> I got to look through the glass again. They just see me, <laughs> but I'm, I'm I'm trying to block my face. They're like, you was here. I like yeah. Don't judge me, please. You left something. Yeah, another baby. <laughs> so you know it was a small town. Everybody right. knew so. Yeah. Right. So <clears throat> the majority of the women are from Millen and Statesboro. Yeah, Millen State, Millen Statesboro. Um, my last mother with kids. She from Kansas City. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yep. So, yep. Millen Statesboro. You done with kids? Oh yeah, I'm done now. Yeah. I, Cause I thought you know, <clears throat> you have a dance off, you have a sing off. People are thinking you and Nick Cannon was having a kid off. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kid, see, Nick Cannon Mel story. He had a lot of kids after the money. Right. So I, I had some in the street, so right. I got away some years. Right. With the, you know, the regular life. Right. But yeah, I had a lot of kids. I had seven kids by the time I was 22. So, you know. Seven by 22? Yeah. So three of them, um, three of them came, you know, I'm 36 now. So between 22 and 36, last 14 years, I had three kids. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, you should, I mean, so let I mean, did you lay down at night like, man, I'm 17 year old. I got a kid. Damn, I'm 18. I got another one. Yeah. I'm 19. Got another one. Like, damn. Yeah. I, I went to the army the first one. I went to basic training, uh, but I ain't go back to AIT. But I had went. Um, I went to basic training. The, what do you thought basic training was gonna do? No, I had, I had to go. Uh, oh, you had to go find. I had work. to go find a job yeah. immediately. So you know, going to 12th grade, I went to basic training. Uh, on, on the way to 12th grade, that right. summer they let you go to um, um, basic training. But okay. yeah, I was just like, man, when I first when I had my first son, I was like, all right. And then me, me, uh, the mother, um, the mother, of my kids, their mother, my first kid's mother. Me and her graduated together. And my last name, Coley, her last name, Cooper. So we sit beside each other. And I looked at her. I said, have your period came on? She was like, nope. I like, no, at least I'm about to graduate. So she was pregnant with my other son right. while we was graduating. So that was two. Right. And then it just kept, man, it just kept on rolling after that. It just kept on rolling. You know what? <clears throat> to understand, like, you know what? Even though your dream was to be a rapper, you mm-hmm. understood that you had a responsibility at oh, that yeah. point in time. So I've got to put what I really want to do on hold yeah. to make sure that the responsibility that I created is taken care of. Yeah, I gave up. I I tell people I I gave I gave my dream away for my kids, and God gave it right back to me. I feel like wow. God was like, since you wow. showed that you was willing, right? I give it back to you because I gave up. I'm like, ain't no way. I wasn't man. I had a job. I worked at um, Southern Company. And then I got in the streets, you know, because that child support started. Yeah, right. working at the Southern Company ain't going to cut it. Nah. Not with that many kids. Nah, it was, boy, them, that, that, that child support check, when they finally took child support out, me and my partner Devin was walking, and I stopped, because this one you can see checks. Still. Oh, they, gar- oh you, they garnished you? Yeah, they garnished. I say, he was like, what's wrong? I said, man, I don't think I can afford to take another step. <laughs> it's over. 
Man, I do not work at no power plant. I work at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> man, you see that money coming out? Ain't no way. Yeah. Ain't no way. So you says, okay, now, let me ask you a question. There, I mean, there are not a whole lot of celebrities. I think Future, I don't know how if you're cool with Future. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, Nick Cannon, that's kind of like your same because he's a comedian and, and things of that nature. Do you talk to other ce celebrities? Have you talked to other celebrities that have a large number of kids? Um, me and T.I. talk, but he ain't got many as me. But, man, to be honest, man, you know, um, you know, once you get everything right in life, I spend a lot of time with my kids. Right. My kids stay right around. I'm, I catch every one of my son games. Uh, got a son in college balling right now. My daughter's dance. My daughter's cheerlead. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we spend a lot of time together. But um, they all pretty much family men, uh, especially T.I. You right. know, they be around their kids as much as they can. That's the only one I really talk to. Right, right. So did you put yourself on child support? When, you, when, you, when did you come to the conclusion and say, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this for you, 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 you. And so, because, you know, sometimes they, they go, they go, the, the maternities get expensive. Yeah, yeah. They get real expensive. So you try to settle this before it get to that point. Yeah, I, t I did that. I, I put myself on child support. But, man, that child support, that ain't the problem. They really need more. You, you find out they need more than that. Right. It costs a lot to really raise those kids for real, man. They asking their mama every day. So I just came to the realization because I was that child. Right. That uh, my dad to drop off some money, but that ain't enough. Right. So, you know, I just, man, you know what? I always just gave him the paper. I get him some more money, man. Right. But you can't buy a piece. So I'm like, get that money. I get more of that. Right. But I need my piece. So how much to take care of your monthly expenses just with the kids oh, and just, the kids' mom? Just with the kids and kids, just with the kids and not kids. Not your expenses, not, not with you, because you got to live also. But you got to make sure they, they straight. Okay. So what's, those, what's that expense? Okay, not count my family or nothing. Not counting your family, just the just kids them. and the kids' mom. Just with them, probably 100. You know what I'm saying? Just with the baby mamas, not count my family and not count me. That's about 100, about 100 a month. So, but if you throw your family in there and throw you in there, that's probably another hundred on top that's, of that. That's 200. It's 200 with uh, 100. Oh, it's no, hold up. No, it's, 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 it's 300 with me. It's, th it's, it's 300. It's 200 and 100 for me. You know what I mean? It's 200 right. for my family, my kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? I write my brother a check for 160 a month to pay everybody. Uh, and then the credit, they, they spend about 40 money on that credit card. It's 200 a month just for family. And uh, kids, baby mamas. So that's why you're on the road all the time. That's why you don't get no break. You got yeah. to work. Yeah, but see, a lot of that, though, see, a lot of that in that 200, too, man, that, that's family working, too, because my brother works. Yeah, working. because you told me your, your, your brother, I mean, yeah, some of your yeah. kids help. Yeah, so by, by, out of that 200, like my sisters work with me, out of that 200, real work, probably about fifth of that work. Okay. You know I'm saying? Fifth or sixth of that. But, you know, I thank God I made way over that, yeah. just being real. How, how did you determine that, you know what? I'm going to put my family, because a lot of times, mm -hmm. you know, we get in this position. Our family don't work. We just give them free money. But mm -hmm. you decided to put your family, hey, I'm like, hey, you want you want some money? You got to work. Yeah. Yeah. But Texas. You go, yeah. Taxes is like about a 1099. Can I hold up? Now, everybody get a 1099, too. So right. that's the part people don't know. Right. But you put them to work because it's like when, when, you, when, you, when you reach a certain amount of money and you start realizing how to, realizing how the tax game go, you're like, hold up. Oh, that's 50%. You only get yeah, so, whatever, whatever they see. They see 10 million, count 5 million. Yeah, so only thing is a 100% write-off is a person. Right. So, okay, if, if, if my sister worked for me and I give her a 10 piece a month, right. I'm really giving her five. Right. You know, because I'm going to have to give that to somebody anyway. Correct. So you train the people around you, and when the people around you start growing and learning, man, my money kept going up right. because everybody around me skilled now. Right. And, you know, the paper coming in, just I can't even count it no more. Man. So, <clears throat> how did you get to the point that says, you know what, baby mama's straight, the kids are straight, my family's straight, now I got to focus on what I need to do? Yeah, I just, man, I just felt like, because every time I got some money, I was like, I don't feel right unless my sisters and my family, you know, I feel lonely. I'm like, man, they got to be straight. I can't just be visiting them. So, I didn't feel like I could focus on my real goal until I got them to a certain level at every level I got. Okay. And that's what made me focus more on the goal because now I'm like, I'm focused now because I, I can take care of my family. I got some and I got enough to invest in my dream. So now I'm really focused because I ain't got that guilt of looking at my sister who came out my mama like, dang, what's sis doing bad over there? You know what I'm saying? Because your love and your heart, can't you can't ignore yeah, it. Right. 
You know right. what I'm saying? Can't ignore it. So let me ask, <clears throat> when you start to date, so how soon before you start to date, when you're dating someone, do you start to take on some of their responsibility, if not all of their responsibility? Man, I don't date no more like that. Like, if I meet a person and I like them, we come to agreement then. If I like them enough, okay, you're going to be around in my life for a long time. Let me, uh, let me figure out this off the rip. Because I know I'm going to run into this anyway. Right. So I kind of already... I kind of already have it in my mind when I meet a person. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, you, <clears throat> but because at this junction now, you know, people are like, well, hey, he done, you know, he got this. I might can catch him slipping. I might can get me one. No, you I can't catch me slipping because I already slipped. <laughs> I've been slipped to high school. So is that what I tell everybody? A lot of people, you know, you can't catch me slipping because I already slipped because you're going to slip in life anyway. Right, correct. But I, I slipped so early, I don't fail so many times, man. My shoes got grip now. Yeah, you got to clean. You can't slip. You can't slip a slipper. Right. Mm -mm. But that's that's an unbelievable uh, country that you have been. The situation that you're in is less than ideal, especially at the time. Now, you wouldn't trade anything for the kids that you yeah, that you have. For sure. That you've been able to. <clears throat> that all these people have been able to come together mm -hmm. for the common goal, and you've helped them realize that the most important thing is a kid. Yeah. All this bickering because yeah. at the end of the day, I need to be at peace because I need to go get this paper. I gotta go get this paper. And I tell I tell them that man they got they got grown. There used to be a lot of drama. Windows bus stop. Baby, this baby mama mad at this. I went through all that, but now it's to the point, man. I got to admit those ladies put all that aside for those kids. Right. And those kids, they ready to get that paper. Like my son, he helped build my he helped build my online business. Right. Because I, I had him in my skits and build storylines around him. Mm -hmm. So man, he helped his daddy build. You know what I'm saying? Build his business right. from the ground and um. Man, it's, a, it's love now, man, but right. I, I went through it. It's I, tough, though. Yeah, it's tough it's to get tough to, to that point. It's tough in the beginning. It, it's, tough, it's tough in the beginning because don't nobody understand that everybody's problem is your problem. And when you got money, they don't understand. Right. But so I opened up and share a lot of business with them. Right. So they can understand what's going on. And to be honest, they went from sitting on their ASS to switching that word around. Now they're asset. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Wow. That's unbelievable. Let me ask you this. When you date... Are the women you date, are they cool with baby mama and vice versa? Well, the last relationship I was in, nah, they weren't cool. Because they don't never really meet the baby mama. I, ain't brought, I, haven't, I haven't brought nobody new around. I've only been in three relationships. My high school sweetheart. Uh, what you mean high school sweetheart? You got like five baby mamas in high school. How no, I got one baby mama in high school. The oh, okay. other one came when I was 20. Okay. So... High school sweetheart. Okay. Yeah, I did deal with one of my baby moms for six months. We talked. We was together for six months, and then my ex, my ex wife, and then uh, my last relationship. So I only been in four real relationships. Right. Mm -hmm. But they cool. So how, so let me ask you a question. So what about the kids? When you start dating, do you bring them around the kids, or do you? Nah, hold not, on not my last relationship. I didn't. So I haven't been in all the relationships besides the mothers of my kids. Right. I only been in one relationship outside the mother of my right. kids, and she never met any of my kids. Okay, so you was able to keep keep that. So how so how is it dating? You you a very public figure now. Ain't mm -hmm. no more ain't no more secrecy like you could do in high school and like yeah. you could do early on in life. You could be over here, do that right here, go back over there, do yeah. that right there. Ain't no more of that country way. <laughs> ain't no more of that. Bro. Yeah, it ain't. <laughs> yeah, but shoot me, I just hey man, if I like a person, we kicking it. I ain't. And if you with all that publicity and trying to get that sauce or whatever, trying, I ain't with that. So, because if we like each other, we like each other. You right. know what I'm saying? Now, if we really into each other like that, we could go public. But I really ain't, man. I'm really focused. You, you, but you know the thing is, women, some women, not all. Mm -hmm. Some, not all. Like, what you hiding. Mm -hmm. You don't want people to know that you got somebody so you can still do this over here. Yeah. That's real. That's real. But now, nah, with me, to be honest, I made a living. I made, I made a <clears throat> movement off my storyline. Right. And uh, I be in relationships with my storyline. Okay. So a lot of reason be like, man, okay, I don't want to be in a public relationship because it messes up my storyline. Correct. It makes that more real, even though it's a storyline. Right. What I do online, so I came up with a conscious decision. Man, I ain't, I'm not letting nothing get in the way of my paper. Correct. So it's business. It's a business reason why I do it. I'm like, man, we can't be. What's that's gonna benefit me? Uh, just being in public with somebody. I ain't. Yeah, dating in public don't make me no money. No, nah, it don't make me no money. So what we really, if we really like each other, because um, as soon as we get the public involved, it's gonna. You not. Are, are you gonna be able to handle what's what's about right. to come with this? Right. And I'm like, you know, now they triggering you because they bringing up a past relationship. They bringing up the kids. Yeah. As long as we happy and we in private, you cool.
But I already know what come with that. So I'm like, it's gonna anything that get in the way of my money, you ain't about that. Nah, I ain't about that. I look at it like this here. You tell me if I'm right or wrong or you agree to some extent. I believe if you if you date privately, you can break up privately. And if you have issues, you can deal with them privately. Yeah. But if you date publicly, you gotta break up publicly yep. and you gotta deal with that publicly. Exactly. And sometimes that get bigger than what you're doing. Right. And and that don't sell tickets, that don't make money. It seems right. like it do. It's clout, but it ain't money. You know what I'm saying? So right. I'd be like, nah, it ain't, man, that ain't worth it. What type of woman piques Country Wayne's interest? Somebody who could cook some vegan food. Cause I, I'm Are you vegan? vegan? Yeah, I'm vegan. So. Man, your country ass vegan. <laughs> man, you ain't possum, squirrel, hey, raccoon. That, exactly. Man. That's why I'm vegan, because I don't eat everything. I don't eat the I don't eat the rabbit, I don't eat the pig, the oink off the pig, everything. Yeah. So now, man, I've been vegan for years and I really realized what do I really like? Cause I, I talked to a girl and I'm like, man, I gotta eat, man. I be hungry. Right. So I'm like, yeah, cause you ain't eating nothing but grass and yeah. mushrooms. Yeah, so yeah, you gonna be hungry. That's what turned me on at this point. You know what I'm saying? She said, no, I, lo I love a bad one. I keep me a bad one now. You I keep a bad one? Yeah, I keep, I always had the bad one since I was before. The, right. Yo. Can the bad ones cook vegan food? Yeah. And yeah. Ones, that one goes. Nah, them bad ones think, they bad ones think, they just bad enough to, man, I'm hungry. <laughs> you, you twerking and looking at them, <laughs> then twerking with a pot. I'm hungry. <laughs> Ain't nothing you think you doing. Waking me up in the morning, trying to dress with a tight pants, baby. I'm hungry. <laughs> Ain't nothing you doing right now, really turning me on. Right. Turn on the stove. I'm telling you, <laughs> you mess I get a ring. Right. You turn that stove on. Right. Come on, man. I'm a country boy, so it's really, man. I be hungry, man. But I'm. I'm, I'm I tell every woman in my past, they are. I loved you. No, you didn't. Because if you love me enough, you know most women, especially in my new relationship. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I like. Right. You know what I'm saying? You didn't work to learn that simple thing. Every woman know I like to eat. But is vegan food easy to cook? Is it, is it something easily learned? It's like, man, you know, you that love, southern food, they be cooking that. If, if you love somebody, you'll, you'll, you'll learn. Like, I learned to do a lot. Right. My relationship, I learned to figure out how to take care um, and do what I a need. A village. To do. Yeah. I, right. learned how, I learned how to build a village. Right. I, ain't get, I ain't had no knowledge of that growing up. Correct. I ain't know that go like that. Right. But, man, when you love somebody, you'll learn. So it seems like you're looking for an old school value woman, cook. Yeah. Does she clean. Make, cl cook and clean. Cook and clean. God damn. And what? she ain't got to do it. Cause you know, but just be the the receptive chief, enough to the, do yeah, it. Yeah, the chief over, cause you know what I'm saying, over the operation. Right. Even if you get somebody to do those things, right. be detailed. Right. About that. Right. You know. But we can't have the house messy or we can't have, well, well, the lady's not coming, whoever's not coming to clean the house. Okay, baby, you go and pick that up. Tie that Every up. relationship I was in, that's the only thing I complained about. If something, that's the, I don't care. Listen, man, I don't care if you, and it, I ain't never smoked a drink. I don't care if you smoke a drink. That's right. your body. Right. You feel what I'm saying? But what? This house got to be clean. See. I grew up. I grew up like that. My Maybe mom, that's a country thing. That's it's a country got, thing. It's got, it, it got to be. It, it, it got to be. It got to be clean. Or to be honest, you know, uh, you beautiful. You beautiful, boy. I ain't stand. <laughs> so, so after we, after we get with each other and we spend some time, you be like, why you ain't never? Uh uh. I stayed in my house by myself. Me and my son. My house is immaculate. It's clean. Right. You know, my my kids got a room there, right. and I even tell them sometimes, man, you finna go to your mama house. Yeah. If y'all don't clean this room. You know, so I just believe, I believe in the clean house. Right. Mm -hmm. Natural or BBL? Oh, I like that natural. Shoot, I got it. I got a girl out, man. <laughs> she got BBL and she, she showed me the pictures and I paid for it. I'm like. You paid for the BBL? Yeah, I paid for it. What the hell are you? What? You don't like BBLs, but you pay for it. Because that's what, that's what they like. So if you think you need that, I'm not finna argue with you. Because then if I argue with you and, and uh, convince you not to do it, it's still going to be in the back of your mind. Right. So you pay for breast augmentation? I pray for it. I pray for it. If, they, if that would make you, and then when you get it, I'm about, uh, why we don't talk no more, man? Country Wayne. It's too hard, man. They don't, I can't feel the bone no more. It was like, I like you like that. You do realize, my grandfather used to say, boy, you got to be careful fraining frogs for another snake to eat. Yeah, they can eat it. <laughs> yeah, plenty of food out there. Please. But well, there's plenty of times I've been saying, somebody, please come get her. Ah, you don't just, how please. you don't fix the car up and don't care if somebody else drive it? Man, that's money. We get more money. We get, I can't get time back. Time is the most valuable thing. Give me, <laughs> give me, give me your idea. If somebody were to say, okay, Country Rain, 
Give me everything that you really want in a woman to be by your side. Let's just say you're mm. looking for a wife. Mm. Give me some of the attributes, some of the traits. What must she have and what can she do to make sure she's with Country Rain moving forward? Love herself more than she loved me. I want a woman who's so in, involved in herself that she become better every day. Okay. And, 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 and make herself happy. Okay. That's what I want because I tell a woman, man, and this it, it ain't even a woman. It's 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 with your kids, relationships, business. You cannot give nobody more than what you got in you. If you think you are, you pulling from somewhere else in you that, and that's what calls stress. That's what calls anxiety because right. you're you stretching the rope too hard. Right, man. If you work on you enough, right, you're gonna be alert on other things. Right. So I, I just you know it's like finding greatness in yourself. When you be great, you see the greatness in everybody. Like when people ask me about comedians, I tell people, man, all comedians funny. I never met a comedian who wasn't funny to me. Right. Now, it might be a, to a different crowd or whatever, but it's so when I meet a woman, man, love you. I'm going to help you and love you more. What, whatever you need to help yourself. So that means you might just drink more water. Mm -hmm. I tell her, come on now, you can at least drink water now. If you ain't drunk enough water during the day. Right. That's easy to right. do. Correct. Now, I understand some things you can't do. You might got trauma, but water. Right. You can get that. That's 99% of the problem. Right. Because if you don't got water, you're going to be dehydrated. And you're going to get a dehydrated thoughts. And whatever you come up with ain't going to last because it's, it's, it's dehydrated. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I I just like, man, I want a woman to love herself, man. So in other words, you don't want to be a hype man. You don't want to have to constantly tell a woman how beautiful she looks, nah. how fine she is, how intellectually she is. I want her to come tell me I know who I am. So if you want to go over there, that's your loss. And right. show me that. You know, I want somebody to really believe that. Believe in themselves. Because I believe in myself like right, that. Correct. And when because I know when you love yourself, nobody really can't tell you nothing. Right. You don't care about what people say. When you truly love yourself, nothing triggers you. Like that's man, people never see me really say nothing online or nothing because I don't care. If people knew how much I didn't care, not a little bit, because I love Wayne. Right. I love Wayne. Right. Yeah. So is that is that one of the biggest thing women you you think women should care more about themselves, love themselves yeah. more? As opposed to trying to to please the man. Yeah, because you're gonna give him all of your love and he's gonna run away with it. Because you gotta give, you gotta fill you up first. Mm -hmm. When you fill you up, trust me, man, when you do touch him, with everything right. you touch, gonna feel that right. energy. So it's just like you gotta fill yourself up. I don't even know where I go with this one, cause I already know what you're gonna say. No, I buy, I buy gifts. Cause you buy BBLs <laughs> and breast augmentations. I mean, so I already know you hit them up with a car or something if you really oh, like them. Oh no, I ain't that type. I, I ain't really. I ain't haven't gave no woman more than I gave the mothers of my kids. Okay. Now my mothers of my kids don't got cars and stuff, but I'm the type of person, man. I'm a. I'm not gonna take you on no trip if your brakes scrubbing. We, <laughs> we we gonna get them brakes fixed first. We gonna get the brakes fixed first. If I know you got a bad tooth back here, we ain't just keep in putting the oil in jail. Before we go do anything, we going to the dentist. Okay. So I'm gonna prioritize the gift. Oh, you fix them up. You gonna fix them up. Yeah, yeah. You gonna fix them up, yeah, man. How, how, oh, okay. How you do anything is how you do everything. Correct. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if, if I like to start from the bottom and go to the. So I'm not finna spend all this money on no purse. When you, when, when you need this done, I see your roof. Your see, roof that, see, that's how I'm thinking. Yeah. See, you, we think alike. Yeah. You, you want a purse. You can't skip to the purse if your student loan behind. Yeah. Except, or the kids need. Come on now. You or try, the yeah. But you know, that's for everybody else on social media. You know they want to post that bag yeah. on social media. Social media a drug. It is. It's addictive. It's, it's addictive, but you know, I was a drug dealer. So, <laughs> man, that's them. That social media don't do nothing to me. Right. You know what I mean? I think that's a lot of people who ain't had that energy in high school and all that. But man, my, my baby mom was homecoming queen. My mom was homecoming queen. My sister, I was homecoming. I was everything. So when you have that before fame, when fame come, it don't feel like nothing. Right. It don't, it don't. My favorite verse by T.I., he say, what the F is fame to me? I've been popping since kindergarten. You was a lame to me. That verse stuck with me because so that's what social media is. Right. Everybody who ain't had that, now this they time. They stay it time is. and they going and they gonna use it and, and think. I like that. I like that coach. I like that yeah. way. I like that. Yeah. I like that because you, know, you could tell the women that wasn't that wasn't wasn't it in high school. Yeah. But they stay posting photos. They stay they stay posting because this they time and now you can fix it up. But man, to be honest, man, deep down, man, everybody is gonna love you for who you are. Cause when God created you, that's the perfect you. Right. If you find yourself, then that's when your light gonna shine. Cause if not, you're gonna have a false light anyway. Right. But man, when you be who you are, that's when you, that's when you shine for real. But let me ask you this, Wayne. Okay, you meet someone and mm -hmm. you're with this person, let's just say for the sake of argument, three to six months. Mm -hmm. And they say, Wayne, you know, I want a boob job or I want a BBL. 
they get that. And then a couple of months later, you're like, damn, I like the OG you. I probably know I'm going to leave her before I even give her. God damn, what, what the hell is this, Wayne? Because I'm going to because I'm going to go ahead. If I don't, I'm going to throw you hands. I'm like, I don't think you need that. OK. You know what I'm saying? But if you keep. But you don't understand. I'm going to give it to you, but I'm going to leave because that ain't. Because you knowing at the end of the day. She's still not happy with herself. Yeah, and if I ain't complaining, so it ain't nothing you could do. When somebody ain't unhappy, man, I promise you, boy, that's a rabbit hole. Okay. You you gonna you gonna spend your life focusing on that, right? And, and yeah, cause you got you got to be yourself. You said something very interesting. You was a drug dealer back in the back in your t your early days. Mm -hmm. Was that like in high school? Right after high school? No, right after high school. Then I stopped for a minute because I had got caught. You know what I'm saying? I had got uh, I had got a charge and I got ten years probation. So I went to do a job, but that job I had to go back. So from two, I graduated 2006. I got caught 2007. I had a job 2008, but I I went back. To, I went back to the streets 2010. How you catch a charge and get out and get you get probation? No, I got 10 years probation. It was possession with a tent. Right. So I took first offender. Okay. So first offender act where you uh that means you can't get in no more trouble. You gotta right. go back and do like five years in prison. Right. So I took first offender, got 10 years probation, and I was like I'm out the streets. But then that child support kicked in, and me and my daddy started. He got out of prison, and he was broke. I was broke, so shoot, we got back in the streets. But I got back in the streets this time with a mission. I said, man, I'm, I'm, I had started calling myself Country Wayne, and I was like, I'm going to make it in this rap game. So I started using the money to try to get out, and I started throwing parties and nightclubs and all that. But I eventually ran into this comedy thing in 2014, and ever since then, you know, it's been a goat. <clears throat> We're, we're, there's this thing going on right now. It's like women and saying, well, you know what? This place is not worthy for me to go, you know, Cheesecake Factor, whatever the case may be. Where, where, where are you on this, Wayne? Man, I, don't, I ain't with that complaining. We all came from nothing. I think everybody forgot where we really came from. Yeah. yeah. Everybody pretend like they was eating the Mastro's yeah, and they, you know, like, the, whole, it, it, the whole bit. Especially us, man. We A lot of us ain't never had nothing. So yeah. if we got a piece of food... That we can afford, I don't care where it's at, whatever level you at, man, just be thankful. Yeah. Right? Well, you and I from Dairy Queen was the lit. Yeah, D Dairy, <laughs> man, Dairy Queen, Popeyes, yeah. Chicken Scripts. But when I was on that food, man, listen here. If somebody take you somewhere and give you something. Right. To have a standard of that, man, I think the internet just don't became, they just talking now. Right. They just, they just talking. Let me ask you a question. If your girl, for a party, y'all go out to eat, should a man have to pay for her friends to eat? Yeah, he he shouldn't have to, but you know it depends on where you're from and how you rock. You would. So if you go out, say you take this young lady out, and she say, "Can I bring a couple of my girlfriends?" You're like, "Okay, cool." Yeah. And she bring like ten of girlfriends. Yeah. And you know they eating. Yeah. You got it. You got that cover. Yeah, I got that cover, but you know I come from. I come from, you know. But you gonna cut off because you gonna say, see, you looking at me as, 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 as a check, and so you invited uh, all your nah, friends. No, I don't together. mind a woman looking at me for a check because I'd rather you get my money than my energy. I, I tell people, I, I'd rather have a woman want me for my money than want me for me. Because most people are like, nah, I want you to want me for me, but then you want too much time. Want, uh, me, for, want me for my, want me for the money. Because that, that's like a circuit, a, 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 a fuse. Remember before, the, before a circuit go out in the car, yeah. the fuse go out yeah. over one of that car? Yeah. Yeah. So the money the fuse. I can get more of that, but right. I can't get more time. I have a problem with somebody come to my life and be like, let me get all your time, man. That's expensive. Yeah, you can't pay for that. I can't pay for that. But if you coming to me for money, okay, well, that's, your, that's how you coming and that's what you're going to get. Where are you on dating a celebrity? Are you cool just finding... And I don't, women, please don't take this the wrong way. Someone that's non-celebrity, because I don't want to say you yeah. know, someone working a regular <laughs> job. Oh, you're yeah. that regular. So a non-celebrity or celebrity? I want to, I want, it's a couple of celebrities that I, I done looked at. But if I, if I date a celebrity, I want to, I want to date her, but we live sort of like enjoy each other much as we can behind closed doors for real. Mm -hmm. You know, I know that's hard to do because we're going to be in the public or whatever. Mm -hmm. But man, I love me a, um, I love me a got there. Uh, somebody who's not a celebrity. Right. Because I'd rather buy 30 Toyota Corollas than a Rolls Royce. <laughs> <laughs> you know, celebrity girls, they want a gift. Man, please. Yeah, they did. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you, you got, oh, you see what she got? You see what Cardi B got? Yeah, but, you know, yeah. you, you date somebody who ain't on that. Like, yeah, my yeah. cousin got, oh, bro, I get you. Yeah, but see, I ain't got offset money. I got set off money. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm about to set off money. Hey, man. <laughs> and even if I got offset money, I ain't finna set it off. <laughs> Don't keep in mind. 
<laughs> man, well, you tell me you rather buy 30 Corollas than a, a Rolls. A Rolls Royce. I'd rather buy 30 Toyota Corollas. Because a girl who ain't famous, she's going to appreciate that. Yeah. If I buy her Toyota Corolla, her family going to cry. Yes. They're going to be like, Wayne came through. Man, you buy these celebrity girls Toyota Corolla. Hey. Oh, uh, no, you ain't. I mean, you got to nah. start out. You start out with the Benz. That's the yeah. least. And then probably you don't want that that uh, uh that, that coloring. Yeah. And these celebrities don't got it in their feelings too much because they got too much to live up to. A celebrity girl, man, they mess around, see their name online. You got to talk to them about that all day. I'm talking about they, they, they all day. I can't believe she. Oh, and what's this coming? I'm like, bro, I can't live like that. This is what you signed up for. This is how it goes. Right. So I'm just like, man, I ain't got time for the stress. So when you see Nick, when you see Wayne's name attached to negativity, and maybe you didn't even have anything to do with it, but people are speaking negative. Because I know in the beginning, mm -hmm. it had to be, man, he got all these baby mamas. He got all these kids, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. So how, how did you deal with that? Man, I went through it in high school, so, man, it really don't, if it don't really affect my money, I don't really care. There's people speak negative of me now, there's people don't, you know what I'm saying, talk bad about me, I always bring up the baby mama, but boy, when I say I don't care a little bit, I just don't care. Now, when I see that person, I don't have a problem with people saying my name, because I ain't know how this co comedy and, and comedian and uh, celebrity stuff go. Okay. So when people saying my name, I get their number. I'm calling, hey, man, we don't do that, but I had to realize, oh, this, oh, y'all play. Oh, this is what y'all do over here. I ain't even know. I was calling everybody. I was calling everybody. What, what, so, so, so what's real? What, what you mean? <laughs> no, I'm saying so. You, they saying things about you. You pick it on the phone and call and see what's yeah, going on. Yeah, they really always be like, no, nah, it ain't like that, man. I'm like, so then when I see them talk again, I'm like, oh, man, y'all playing. Y'all clout chasing. Y'all y'all really ain't. y'all. Most of them broke. The, the, the celebrity, a lot of celebrities really ain't got no paper. Right. You know what I'm saying? They front. Huh? They front. They ain't got no money. Cause you, if you, well, come on now. Because if you got money, you ain't got time to talk about me. No. But or you trying to get more money. When you're up, you're up now. Right. Yeah. Mm, mm. You were married once. Would you do it again? Uh, yeah, I probably would. What, what, why did you get a divorce? Oh, because I was, I was just ready to be free. Because with the plans I had and what I wanted to do, I knew with a, a woman in my life wasn't going to... Um, agree to the plans I had in my mind. Mm -hmm. Like the way I took over social media with the storylines and all that, the women. Right. You know, I built a dynasty with that. But if I was with in a relationship, I couldn't have did that. I would have right. went home, what you kissing her? It's just a skit. Da, 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 da. I'm like, bro, I see a vision. I ain't got time to come home and explain. Right. Well, over without explanation. Yeah, I ain't got time to explain, but I see something. You see this house? You see them cars? You see? Yeah, now, now everybody I ever talked to in the past, see. You know what I mean? They're it's like, too late, though. It's too, oh, it's too late now. You ain't. Have you ever thought about going back and getting one that you're from the past? Mm, I thought about it, but uh, nah, it ain't going to work. Mm. Why wouldn't it work? Because you are who you was when you showed up. You know what I'm saying? What, you, you ain't really changed because I ain't changed. Right. You know, you're just going to act different because things are different. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I already, seen, I already seen what it was. And it's going to go through the same problem at another level. Same, as soon as you get comfortable, you're going to convert back to who you were. You know? You divorced, mm -hmm. but you still can't take care of your wife. Yeah, yeah, she get she get a bag every month. Y'all still cool? You cool? Cool. I just she just texted some money this morning <laughs> for a birthday trip. <laughs> Wait, I'm just trying to figure out how you 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 move on, but you still take care of what you left behind. Because I feel like them kids be stressing them out so bad. I'm yeah. like, man, I just they do a good job of that. Right now. If the mamas don't do a good job of the kids, I ain't giving them that. Right. But I feel like them kids is the job. God, boy, my children, boy. Have you ever had all the kids at once by yourself? Mm-hmm. Oh, they don't play with me. My kids, yes, sir. No, sir. They don't play with me, but they they a little different with their mamas. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Of course. There's like, something about a man's voice. and somebody's yeah, presence. Yeah, I don't play. Like, they 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 no, all, sir. they come to my house. They still seem like they be there when we filming sometimes. Right. Man, my kids, they good kids, but I ain't play with them. Right. I don't put that foot down early. You got to. Yeah. They don't, play, they don't play with me <laughs> at all. So you say, you know what? I'm paying because I know how these kids are and how they treat. They're not like this with me, but I know how they are with you. I got to pay. I got to break you off. That's a job. A full time. Man, man kids. Brother, I'm sitting here on this nice leather brown sofa. It's a, my daughter probably asking her mama, showing her the same TikTok dance for 50 times right now. Right. <laughs> and I get to be in front of Shannon Sharp, brother, this here. <laughs> Let me give the people some money, because yeah. I'm living. Right, right. You know? Let me ask you a question. Who do you think cheat more, men or women? Uh, women. Why do you think they cheat? Because uh, we cheat. 
and they just they try to get their lick back. I, I'm gonna say this: they so bad at it. Men stupid. Yeah. If men knew how much women cheat, they'll stop cheating. They see men ego thing. You know, I be hearing everybody online. This is what a woman need to do to get a good man. Man, these women ain't stuck, y'all. Like, they think, <laughs> why men? Why we think we so much so good that a woman just gonna be brother? Listen here, you don't even know. You don't know her. She only mad at you because she been holding back for you. And then when you do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know how to do it. But a woman, boy, because I've been the guy they've been cheating with for a long time. They cheat with people who they know ain't going to say nothing. Yeah. Oh, for sure. That quiet dude. But listen here. People think it's the guy with the money. Man, mm -mm. this is that dude you won't be even believe getting it. This joke ain't got nothing. He got, he got one car. He got one job. He, cut, he had Popeye's. You know what I'm saying? Beat her down. And you ever met Popeye's? <laughs> and you, you see that guy that who real confident back there? Like, yeah. Why he so confident frying that chicken? Cause man, when he get home, and when she get her taxes, and when you get your little money, he, she gonna look out for him anyway. He having a ball. Wow. And so is she. <laughs> Cause he focused on every move. <laughs> I'm talking about, Damn that, we focus on business. We go home, you know, when you get money, you like, man, oh, but it's next venture. Yeah. She like, yeah, 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 but he ain't stuff out there. He like, hold up. <laughs> hold up, he got, right, get, right there, right there. Mm hmm. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, sit right there every time. And every time he see her, he know how to hit that move. Every time. And when she with you, she, she, she don't want to be with him. No, no, but no. She just want him to hit that, it's that little thing he do. It's what he do. He know how to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man. Let me ask you a question. We had we had this conversation. Ocho and I had this conversation on Nightcap. Cheating. Okay. The guy cheat. Women are pro it seems to me, and I could be wrong, you tell me what you think, <laughs> that women <clears throat> seem to be more forgiving if a guy steps out in the relationship than if a woman steps out, that man. <laughs> yeah. He like, oh no, hell no, that's a bridge. I hell no. Somebody been in my <laughs> somebody been in my party. Oh. Me. Yeah, cause a lot of men soft. They be crying like a baby. So yeah. she, she natural a nurturer. She see the hurt in your eyes. Right. You keep asking her. So why you did that? Huh? You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing with a hole and all that. <laughs> so she natural a nurturer. So she forced to forgive. Cause man, you crying. Right. Like all that, all that we done did. But you got that vision of her head of her bucked up. Got there looking back at. Ah! Uh, <laughs> ah! Ah! You can't take it because. <laughs> You know, when we cheat, they can forgive because we ain't that dramatic. Right. So when they vision us in their mind, they hear us saying, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, but they ain't. This mind. But ain't. we know. Boy, when she cheated, oh, my God. Oh, to my, she's, ah, oh, stop. And, you, and that vision keep going through your head. So she see the hurt in you, and she like, yeah, I'm going to go and forgive You forgive me. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, they, see, that, they, but see, they can't be, like, when they're explaining it, they just like, oh, it was a one-time thing because they can't say, Oh, dude had me up like like the Macy's Day balloon. Because they want to live. <laughs> if they, if, if if they, they told you the real. How that toes were curled up. Yeah. And, and, and she was getting choked. And her eyes popping out of her head. Yeah. You're going to kill her. <laughs> so she got to tell you. He just put the head in. And I stopped him. She always, <laughs> she always tell you that. That's it. She always tell you she stopped him. Right. And it only happened one time. And she ain't let him finish. Yeah. He been finished. Yeah. Because he was scared she was going to stop him anyway. Right. Listen here. Man, no, nah, man. Wait, trust me, man. When a woman cheated, man, trust me. She did some things to him she'll never do to you. Because you might judge her if she do those things. What? Yeah. What? She's more. She. she oh man! Oh, oh, you ain't know that. <laughs> she did, and I already know what she did to me. Oh, she, she doing more nothing. than him. What she did to you ain't nothing. Cause she more free with him. Yeah. Oh Lord, way. So oh Lord. You did more around your parents than when you weren't around your parents. Wow. I just. Yeah, I just. Know. Know. That's why that started. Drinking started cause of that. The, Lord. the first woman who cheated, the man, he missed he missed a bunch of stuff up. It was alcohol, juices, and beers. And he said, I can't take it. Lord, have mercy. Wait, that's what they do it? That's what they do it, because when they cheat, they can be who because they, they can be free. And, and she tell you what she really want to do in the bedroom, you might judge her. Right. And you're gonna be like, hold up, why you wanna do that? What kind of woman are you? Who taught you that? Yeah. Where you learned that but from? She got she got imaginations in her head too. Yeah. That Popeyes. He gonna do all that. She's yeah, like, she he, like bring the flower home in the grease and fry me like a chicken. She gonna, it's all kind of stuff in they head they wanna do, man. I had one girl, it was out in high school, cause dude was talking about me in the street. The only time to mess with a dude girl is when he be talking about me. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's how I used to fight. Now, all my fights was about, okay, I hear you talking about, I'm gonna get your old lady. 
you know what I'm saying? And I was, I was hitting him, and he called, and I made her answer the phone. What? Yeah. Come on, what? Wayne, you playing with fire, Wayne? Yeah, I know, that won't go home no more. Yeah, you shouldn't. Yeah. You play with fire now. But yeah, so the women, when it came to women, I was the guy they were cheating with, so that's how I knew women. My brother scarred right now. He said, growing up with me made him not trust women. Right. Because I'd be dealing with a girl, and when I see her, hey, you know what I'm saying? So And she be with a man, and he know. Yeah, he nah, he don't know. No, I'm saying your brother knew. My brother knew. But he didn't know, absolutely not. A woman, boy, a woman leave the house real quick and go cheat. We See, a woman want our time. So when a woman make you cheat on your girl, she wants your time because she jealous of your relationship. So she going to make you take her out one day. Or, yeah. But that woman, she going to leave the house one day to go to the store real quick. Mm -hmm. They going to take her nine minutes. She going to either go to her homegirl house or go to his little spot and give it to him real quick and come home and serve and be the best wife or girlfriend to you. They a better girlfriend and wife when they cheat. Because they feel better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they feel that they got that off them. What? Yeah. So by 10, by 10, 15 minutes, yeah, so they, got, they, they got to break a little run. A woman with the same man, because, see, women are us, but they get judged for being like us. Right. So they'll never tell you they like us because we judge them too much. Mm -hmm. And I say we because I'm a man, but I don't judge women. That's why I get a lot of women, because they can feel when you don't judge. Yeah. But when a woman, man, come on. Yeah, man. I don't care about that. When a woman just, lay up with the just same... Be, just be good to me. When a woman lay up with the same man, you think she... Turn on every time too. Just like we be like, we want a new one. Yeah. This same moves. Oh, he woke up in the morning, give me something from the side. Oh. <laughs> if I knew life was like this, I can't wait till I get to heaven, cause this ain't it. <laughs> same routine, you gotta go put up the kids, baby good, come ahead. You know yeah, yeah. You got you on the routine, you on the schedule, cause man, you got kids. Man, one day she wanted to just wake up and just be on the floor. Yeah. With with, with the Bunte. <laughs> <laughs> she tired too. Right. Yeah, that's why she be like, take me on a trip. So at least do it. Change somewhere. the scenery. Yeah, change the scenery. And we go on a trip and get what we do. Same move. Turn to the side. Now we on the beach, sand everywhere. It ain't comfortable as I thought. It's just, yeah. yeah. Women, I feel sorry for women out here, man. Have you ever been caught cheating? Caught? Well, I've been, I, they thought they caught me cheating, but I was like, I was grown. You just ran up on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I was, man, he, he caught me. Get in the car. What you doing here? I'm a grown person. Right. I don't believe two grown, grown people should tell another grown person what to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if I was here. You wanted to be there. Obviously, I wanted to be here. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when you got in the car and went back home. So I what? didn't go. You went back upstairs? Huh? You went back no, to the I jumped in my, I had got my sister truck. Yeah. I did try to be respectful. Yeah, you, you tried to hide. You, I tried to hide. I was in my sister car. Yeah, 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 Man, yeah. She took me on a high speed chase. Yeah. She took me on a high speed chase, but I won. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to this other girl's house and she fried me. This one I was eating tilapia fish. She fried me tilapia fish. Yeah. Uh, with hot sauce on it. I was like, I should have been here anyway. You should have been there. Yeah, because yeah, she cooked me something to eat. That's when you was eating meat back then. Yeah, I was eating meat. Yeah. I said, Lord, one cook me, boy, go to the house and they cook me something to eat. Boy, listen, you about to be together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kept, I kept some women now. You right. Know? So, what do you, let me ask you a question. Knowing how much you love women, mm -hmm. you have daughters. Obviously, you have you have sons and you want them to be respectful. So what are you going to teach them about dating and how to approach a relationship? I don't know. I already talked to my daughter. She like a little, my, they, they, they like their little boys or whatever. I say, listen, man, I be kissing them doing the stuff. I say, no, put that energy into you. You're not going to keep him buying him nothing, uh, being there for him. You only way you're going to keep that, that boy is be your best version of you. You know what I'm saying? You got to stay up. And that's with anything. That's with business. If you stay playing good, your contract keep going up. Mm -hmm. So you got to stay being up. So your partner keep looking at you and, and being up ain't just financial. Right. Your partner look at you and be like, mm-mm. Mm -hmm. So I tell them to stay up. And I tell my sons, man, you know, uh, I made him buy his little girl a gift. I made right. him buy her a, a, a Louis Vuitton purse for uh, Christmas. Cause he right here dealing with the girl. I know you get her and she's so nice to him, but you right. ain't gave her nothing. Right. No, son, she giving you her energy. She listens to your long conversations. When you have bad games, she's talking to you on the phone. You finna get her something. Right. So I'm, so I'm letting him know. He hate for his money to be affected. So I'm gonna let you know, this gonna cost you energy and money. And I'm telling my daughters, be the best version of you. Be the best version of yourself. That's the only way you're gonna keep anything. And if you don't keep it, being the best version of yourself, you're supposed to lose that anyway. Right. So that's the game I'm giving them, for real. When did your kids know you were famous? Well, they thought I was famous in the streets. <laughs> Cause I, I was so popular in my own time, right. rapping in the nightclubs. They thought I was famous then, but they pretty much thought I was famous all my life. I I asked them that. 
because my name was Country Wayne in the street. Right. And I had the parties, the nightclubs, so I was already a level of fame. Right. In my hometown, people mm -hmm. wanted to take pictures and stuff like that then. So they kind of grew up in it. Right. And then it just got, it's, it, I got the most humble celebrity kids in the world because they never felt the jump. Right. It been just this. So it's so normal to them. I tried to send them to private school, man, they, please get us out of here. You know, but they always felt, they always felt it though. Right. Mm -hmm. So they cool, so they, they, they cool with it. They don't feel like celebrity kids. They right. know they rich. They know they could get a lot of stuff they want, but they real humble, man. They some humble kids for real. Have they ever been upset with anything that you post? Your kids ever get upset with you? No, nah, uh, I said a joke on stage about my son. Mama told me he going to the NBA. Uh, he ain't never going because he got crossed up one day uh, by a Mexican boy. And, uh, and the dude said something in Spanish or whatever. And, and his mama them got mad about the joke, but no, nah, they don't really be tripping. They'll get mad if I say something about their mama sometimes. Do they? Mm -hmm. Like I talked about one of my baby mama, teeth that got knocked out. She had called me. But I got a teeth fixed though, obviously. Right. I, right. Like, <laughs> I think I'd pay for that joke. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, they be tripping. They, they be chipping. chipping. You, you also take care of two of your nieces. Yeah, I take care of man, my sisters, everybody, everybody get a check every month. Mm-hmm. That's that's a huge responsibility. Mm hmm Why do you feel that, that that's your calling? Why do you feel that you are a provider? Because it seems like everybody that's in Wayne's village needs to be provided for. Because coming from that country town, man, I gotta admit, you know. Mm hmm well, people like they made it from New York and it was hard. I understand because there is more violence and stuff when they made it from the city. But when coming from that country, it ain't no opportunity or ambition. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like, man, a lot of my family gifted anyway. Sometimes when you somebody blessed with a gift like this, you are the gift to your family. Right. Because this, this is a gift. I'm not in an organization <laughs> like, you know, what I'm saying even the NBA a gift, but it's still an organization. Right. This is something from the mud. I always figured out a way. Whether it was the night before I even made comedy, I was making a couple hundred thousand dollars a year before comedy. You know right. what I'm saying? So I feel like I'm too gifted at creating and making money. Right. So obviously I'm supposed to do something else with this. Right. And I'm gonna look at my family first. I'm like, okay, well, and that's what I did because obviously they don't have that gift because they. It, because I just know how to do that part. Get to the right. money, I'm going to get to it every right. time. A couple of your kids, you didn't realize they were your kids until later in life. Mm -hmm. Did that add stress? Because <clears throat> sometimes when you're not around early on, sometimes the kids feel like they're neglected or they're not wanted. Mm -hmm. So how did that how did that impact you in their relationship? Oh, uh, they don't remember it. <clears throat> okay. Because uh, like Christiana, she was like, by the time I found out she was mine, she was like three. Okay. So they don't even remember that. So... Nah, they be, man, them kids, they, they chilling. Cause right. I be in their life and. You been in their life since though. They won't make a move right now. They mama have to call me first. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing like, if my kids need a hair done or whatever, I, I'm, I'm involved in the hairstyles. Nah, I don't get that one cause you don't know how to keep up with that. You get this, get your hair. I'm, I'm involved in them kids life for real. So they don't move unless daddy. So they don't, they don't, they don't know. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't remember that. Then, you, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, uh, you had a child that, you, your, one of your baby mom lost the child and just put the system. Yeah. Got taken away. Yeah. And I had to go to the system and get her. Why I was going viral on videos. <clears throat> so that's, I stayed in that country town and I was super hot online, but I didn't even want no Hollywood deals or anything because I'm like, man, bro, my life got to be in order before I go. Mm -hmm. I can't go get no deal and be on TV knowing I'm fighting for my daughter in court. So I was just disconnected from, I was popular to the people, but nobody knew I was going to court every day. I go every court date and I had to go see her every day to try to get her out of this orphanage. And, um, you know, that was a process. Care. Yeah, foster care, yeah. Mm -hmm. and they, so that was, man, that was a process within itself. But, you know, she appreciated that to this day, though. She always bring it up. Daddy, you remember when? Because I, I, I went and she did it. She saw my, you fall for a way. Yeah, I fought for it. And uh, even the court was clapping when I won because most people in that situation depend on a woman and they like. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, I got to get my sister. I got to get my, but my mama being gone, I had to pick up a lot of responsibility. Right. Uh in that end, because a lot of things that I had to do in life, my mama would have had to organize. Right. <laughs> but me, had, me growing up without a mother, I was like, man, I'm going to get my child myself, man. I ain't finna ask my sister. I'm going. I'm going to court. And I went, and man, that was a process. And I went, and filed the paperwork, doing that part. I had to go through the steps. Had to go through all the classes. But I went and got my baby. How did? <clears throat> how do you think? How different would your life have been had your mom been able to see Wayne today? And. 
how different my life would have been. Uh, I think if she would have been here, I probably would have been, I probably would have been out that country town because she always knew I was gifted and she used to always try to move me to Atlanta. But man, I can't think about it because I feel like she's still here. Mm -hmm. She ain't here in the flesh, but man, but <clears throat> mama, mama been here because we were broke growing up. But when she died, I got, and my mama ain't work, but she, I don't know how she got enough money in social security. We got a social security check when she died every month. And right. I feel like, ooh, mama looking at me more in heaven than she could on earth. So <laughs> right. I always had that positive mindset where I always felt like she was with me because I've been able to get out of too much stuff. And the way I understand women, man, they got to be hurt. I feel like since I stay connected spiritually, I think when you stay connected spiritually, people who died in your family, you stay con if you stay connected spiritually, they'll give you gems on how to survive through this earth. So I always feel like she here, I just can't see her physically. If she would say, I probably, I probably wouldn't be handing out all that money. You're right. She would have been cut. She would have been Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, she ain't going to let you do all that. Man, she said, baby, you wasting that money. I tell my baby mom all the time, boy, my mom was here, y'all would have been cut off. I tell them that. They probably know that, too. Yeah. <laughs> they probably know they that. Boy. Melissa Conan was here, boy. Yeah. You, you blew up on so social media. Mm -hmm. How much money do you think you made through social media? Man, through social media, probably a dog. Probably about just social media. Mm -hmm. Probably about twenty, about twenty million last, last, last three years. That's when I really started monetizing. Mm -hmm. Telling jokes, huh? And skits. It's some skits, man. It's storylines. I was telling jokes at first. You need a partner? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look like you doing fine. I tell you what, boy. Hey, you, you know about this money. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, you know, the social media game, you know, it's the in-stream ads and stuff, but they didn't have that at first. So right. how I was monetizing at first is getting popular, you go on tour. Right. But I was like, that ain't monetization. Right. Because if that I gotta work. do this, that's work. So I'm like, no, how can I learn? Cause what I did, I was hearing about residuals and all that, and what I did. In math, they all the whole thing about math is to simplify something. That's what math is. Mm -hmm. You take 50 over 100 and break it all the way down to one over two. So what I did, I took the TV format. People talking about residual and TV shows, and I and I minimum, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I took it to, a, I minimized it to a point of, I got my version of that. Okay. And now I'm able to make residuals. I'm making money right now while I'm sitting. And people was laughing at me at first <laughs> when I first started doing those skits. People like, oh, them little skits, da da. And I went to every, before I started, I went to every social media uh, who was big at the time and sat down with them. And like, hey, I like, look, man, we gotta do this social media thing. We come together, we can share storylines, share content. They was all like, uh, nah, they don't seem like, all right, you, you wanna keep going out here tap dancing on tour? All right, so that social media thing, when I figured out that niche, man, I was on to it. And I seen it, so I ain't care what nobody said. I was doing all kinds of skits. I was an old man one time. I was a character named Drip. And I'm like, man, this money really on social media. Cause that's where everybody eyeballs at. Right. So if I'm an advertiser, right. <laughs> I'm gonna keep pouring money in social media. So I feel like social media was the future, whether people want to accept it or not. But you knew that. I knew that. I knew that because I, I already really I, I paid attention and listened. And I realized Hollywood was always the ad business. Mm -hmm. It never was the movie business, right. a TV show business. They always say, let us pay our bills. So you got to pay in an army. You know, commercial. They, yeah, in the army, they teach us, teach you the detail. Teamwork is the key. So wherever the eyeballs are at, that's where the money going to be at. Right. So if I'm, if I'm looking to my left and the right and people on their phone all day, it's like investing in the stock. I will be stupid to believe that people are watching this more than they're watching this. So I'm right. like, these advertisers finna start pouring this money, and I'm going to be a part of this new generation. You got on the train early. I got on early. I got on early and I caught the pandemic because right. we'll never sit down like that again. No. So I was like, man, we sit down, everybody waiting to go back to work. I'm like, no. And everybody wants to be entertained when there's no entertainment going on. Man, I was, I got all the kinks practicing. Okay, they like this, the algorithm like this, this like this, this like this, this like this, this like this. I say, bam. I say, man, this old boy. I said, I'm going to have me a billion dollars by the time I'm 50. You know what I'm saying? I already seen it. It was just too many people watching social media. Besides, obviously, you take care of your kids, <clears throat> you take care of your family. What are some of the other things Wayne spent his money on? What do you spend your money on for you? It, uh, for me, I got a Rolls Royce, my house furnished, you know what I'm saying? I got a couple of houses. I got a house in Bel Air, house in Atlanta, condo in Bel Air? Yeah. Yeah. You ain't talking about, you ain't talking about uh, my boy Ross Drink, right? You talking about Bel Air, like right up the street yeah. for me. Yeah, that's where I came from. Yeah. 
You looking for a partner to skip, man. You know how your boy, your boy can sing. I can dance a little. I don't know who you think you fool. <laughs> you get Shay Shay got his own skits. I know you. I know you be checking the RPM and, and CPM. <laughs> so, so you got a place in Bel Air. You got a place in Atlanta. Yeah, I got. Uh, I got a, a house. I got a house in McDonald, and then um, I got a condo in Atlanta. Okay. Mm-hmm. You spread out. You, hey. Yeah. Yeah, you and like I got a couple. I got a couple apartments. I got. I got a. I got another. I got two houses in um, Atlanta and another apartment. And baby mamas, everybody got apartments, but I use all that stuff to shoot skits in too. Right. So that's my studio. They 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 don't even know that's your studio. That's your. They don't know, but listen here. Boy, listen here, it's hand over fist because I understood the content and I spend my money on content. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I, you know, uh, I purchase content now to post on my page that I don't even film. Right. That's how I'm really right. working without working now. Right. And, and, you know, that content, I spend my money on content. You know what I'm saying? I got some real estate stuff I'm about to do. I got some movies. I put my own money up on my own movies. Right. Um, my, my Netflix special, I finance my own special. You know what I'm saying? The license is Netflix. So I spend my money. I flip my money. Right. Oh, because I grew up flipping, so I'm addicted to the flip. Right. Some people get addicted to the drug, but I got addicted to flipping. Right. So I love taking my money and investing into me because I know I'm. Because you believe in you. Oh, oh, I believe in me. Wayne ain't going to get it. They can say what they want to about Wayne every time. <laughs> the country, the country boy here, I ain't stuck what they talking about. I mean, <clears throat> obviously, like growing up how we grew up in small towns, you're from Millen, Georgia. I'm from Glenville, Georgia. And only you dream, like, man. To know that you got a place in Bel Air and you got you buy coastal, you got places in Atlanta, mm-hmm. um, and this place as, as I mentioned in Bel Air. What is Wayne right now? What are you most proud of? What you've been able to do thus far? Man, put and man, employ the people that work with me, man. To see they, you know what I'm saying? Like my boy Mike Bliss, me and my brother were going through the numbers, and I'm like, man, I paid him a million dollars this year. You know what I'm saying? And the, the, the people that. I be able to bless. I'm like, man, I'm able to bless everybody, seeing everybody else get their cars and their businesses. That's the most thing. That's the most, all that stuff. I only got a place in LA because you know by the time you come out here, handle your business, get Airbnbs, add up, it's about the same. Right. So I'm like, I got to have a place comfortable. My clothes are already here. I got, right. so. And it's a place to call your own. Yeah, you know what I mean? So when I'm out here, I can write clear, but man, right. the most, I'm proud of being able to bless others, man. When right. I see that, I be like, dang, look at, look at Ro. Look at my sisters, look at my brothers. They balling. Right. I'm like, man, that's what, that's what it's about, man. That's that's the only thing that get me like I get excited for them to get more. Right. Well, I'm like, well, I can't wait to pay. If I pay you a million this year, well, I'm trying to pay you a two million next year. Cause the more I pay you, the more, the you more got I know I got coming. Right. So yeah, that that's what I'm proud of the most. What's your favorite luxury item that you own? My favorite luxury item, I ain't gonna lie, man. I got I got that um pepper, I mean um that pink Rolls Royce, and it was the only one of its kind that had. I like that. Why'd uh, you get pink? Man, you don't sell no damn Mary Kay. Nah, the Bever- <laughs> Beverly, the guy, the Beverly Hills man, Rose Royce, man, he hit me up because I, I had went to, did a film in New Zealand, and I was on the phone with him the whole time. Like, man, I supposed to come back and get a white or red Rose Royce. Right. They sold it, so he was like, I was like, dog, I just wait, man. And he said, he said, I got this pink one. I said, I don't want no pink Rose Royce. It was the one, the special edition they used for like the, they showcase that year. Right. Then I woke up the next morning. I said, boy, nobody ain't got that one though. It's the it's the black badge, so I I I'd be the only one with the pink. And when I when I got it and posted, Dion Cole called me. He thought I got it wrapped. Right. But that's the only color they made right. like that. So I was like, this special, this my favorite, this one of my favorite dream trucks. It'll always be different because it's the black badge and it's pink. You know you can't creep in that though. That's the only problem. You can't creep, no, you can't. That's the creep. only problem, man. I can't I can't got during driving. <laughs> What's the favorite place you've been? What's your favorite place to travel to? Where does Wayne go to relax? LA. Cause they got this vegan food out here. Oh man, this man talking about some vegan food. Man. Yeah, I, I eat all day. When I'm out here, I handle my business and they support the vegan movement. It be right. food everywhere. The restaurants is good, so I love coming to LA. Well, I mean, uh, in Atlanta, the only place I mean I know the slutty vegan. Yeah, sl- you- shout out to slutty vegan. Um, but Atlanta don't really support it like that. No. Nah, Especially nah. if you stay on the outskirts, see, and out yeah. here you could be on the outskirts. Oh, they got it. And still, they still got it. Yeah. So I love LA, man. You yeah. know, for real. Jewelry. I mean, you got. I mean, you got a nice subtle piece. You got a nice, nice watch, a yeah. ring. But you're not. You're not draped. You're not dripping. Nah, nah. I mean, I keep, I keep me a watch. It's Rolls Royce Presidential right. with the flawless diamonds, right. pink and ring, VVS, and I keep my Jesus popping chain. And that's about the only jewelry in the earring. I keep the same set. That's it. Yep. You purchased anything else? Mmm. Nah. Nah. I purchased something for my family. Like my daughter, I just bought her a VVS chain and. 
and my son, they got BBSs and nah. I got cars, I got Maybach and you know what I'm saying, G ah, ah. Sprinter vans and all that. I mean, you know, when, when you went out in, when you know, not in Cali, you let your boy get that up, you know. Oh, the, yeah, the that Mayb- was my bar. Yeah, the Maybach out, yeah, the Maybach out here. I keep that out here. I know you do. That's what I'm saying. I could drive, and nobody don't know who I am. So everybody in LA, everybody, you know, it's Maybachs all through the street. All through, the, and that's how your boy be able to fit in. I be able to get hey, in and get that. You got it all. I'm finna ask you some questions. <laughs> <laughs> what's it? What's it? investing? You uh-huh. mentioned about how you like to flip your money. So you're uh-huh. in the flipping game. Uh-huh. You know, some people get get enjoyment in, uh, out of other things. You like, okay, I'm gonna take my money, put it here, knowing I'm gonna double, you know, two exit, three exit. Uh huh. Where did you learn that from? Streets. You know what I'm saying? When you ain't from getting that dope fronted, and you got to buy it. You know what I'm saying? You got to buy your dope, sell it. You got to sell it, put your reup back first, then you keep the profit. And sometimes you made enough profit, you put it back in the mortar so you buy a bigger package. Because the more you got, the more you're able to move. Right. So the streets, if you make it out, you know what I'm saying? I tell everybody, you know, um, ain't too many people in my position, especially comedian, my kind of person don't make it here. Right. We're in prison. We probably got out. We got us a lawn service or a trucking business or something. Mm -hmm. You can't be cool and get some money. It make it here because the eyeballs on you too early. Right. You know what I'm saying? The dude, the, think about the dude in high school that was number one. He mm. never make it. Right. Everybody be like, high school, you was it. So I I still got that same mentality from the streets because most people from the streets don't make it. Right. You know, every once in a while you get a Jay-Z, a 50 who understand the flip game. But right. it's always, brother, if you, like I tell people who be in this film industry and stuff, if you ain't finna put no money in you, why would a studio just give you some money? Right. Just think about that. Mm-hmm. If my kids don't put no work in, I'm not finna help you with your basketball career and you ain't practicing yourself. Right. So I always knew, man, when you flip that money and believe in you, some kind of way. It's gonna happen. It go, it's gonna happen. You know what I mean? And I believe in flipping that money. Like, I got a movie that I'm, you know, I just finished the script. Me and Steven Lord did they clone they clone Tyrone. We teaming up and doing the movie. Right. Now we gotta go pitch it to the studio after this step. Right. Finna, Finna hit up Robert Townsend. That's what we getting as director. Right. I ain't worried about the no. Because the movie team being whatever, I'm gonna film it myself. Right. So it's like a confidence come with, and trust me, when they know you got money, people are hard to tell you no. Right. A woman ain't finna let you go while you up. <laughs> Unless she got that prenup with you. So <laughs> the whole game is like a woman, so I just learned that from the street. The algorithm, the business, everything like a woman's energy. So man, you gotta man, you gotta flip that money. What do you what uh you have? Do you like a uh, investment property stocks? Yeah, I do that too. I got I'm, I'm investing back in my hometown, and I'm gonna film skits while I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. When Wayne goes back to his hometown, I'm gonna right. monetize off the whole process. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you get a subdivision down there, you get like thirty lots for like um, half a million. Then you spend some two hundred thousand dollar houses on each house. You know what I'm saying? So two hundred thousand times thirty by six million, mm-hmm. you got your whole thirty houses. You got the opportunity to to rent them out, and if you do that cash. You go take, once you get all that cash, you go take that back to the bank and get a loan. Now you got your cash back. Because if you start off with cash, the game is easy. Right. It's like if you buy one house for 500000 cash, right, mm-hmm. and you want to buy another one, you take the money back to the bank, get your 500 back, or even if they give you 380 you get them on somewhere, you buy another house. As long as you start off with cash, you can always keep going. And you've been on built up, but it's when you try to initiate with no cash. Right. Boy, I tell people, boy, if you go to a table with not a plate, right. you'll do anything with some food. Right. So I always I get that from the streets of just man, I'm, I ain't moving till I get some money. I am not trying nothing. If I ain't got no money to bring to the table, I don't even want it. Cause I know I'm gonna get pimped. Right. Cause it take a good hearted person to not take advantage of you. Yeah. And a human being, boy, if you trust a human being, boy, you're in trouble in life. Right. You gotta trust a human being to be a human. They gonna get you. Any chance they get, but if you got some money and you got some sense to go with it, it's hard to get you. You know, <clears throat> I think we're, we're distrustful by nature because mm-hmm. it's just hard to believe that somebody have something so good that they're willing to share it with me or you. That, For nothing, like, hey man, yeah. hey man, I got this, and I just want to see you. I just want to see you come up, my brother. Yeah. Really? Well, that's not because nah. I don't know how you look at it, Wayne, but I look at it like this. Nobody, I came from where I came from, nobody gave me anything. Exactly. So now I'm here, and now everybody want to give me everything? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And then, I, and then, because you got return the favor later. That's why I don't take favors, because I might not feel like doing that favor. Yeah. 
later on. I don't want you to take it personal. Right. Because me and you in business, right? We can love each other. We brothers and everything. But if things start to go bad, deep down by human nature, you're going to try to do, put it in your favor to make your, sure your family straight. Right. And I don't expect you to do nothing else. And I'm trying to put it in my favor to make sure my family's straight. Correct. So you can't, you got to be realistic and be like, man, let me go ahead and do all I can. Right. And, 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 and put, because man, human, a human going to be a human. Right. That's just the game. Man, I read that you pay some of your actors in your skit like 80 to 100K a month. Uh, eight, no, 80 to 100 might get that because he's a producer. Right. So might get like 100K. So what do you think about 10, 15 a month? Uh, Adam, yeah, Adam make, uh, Adam make 15 the main ones, you know what I'm saying, 15, 20, you know what I'm saying? That's like, good money. Yeah, they make 20, and they don't work no with me, with me four days four, four days a month. You shoot, That's it? Yeah, I shoot, I, I film them, I drop nine new pieces of content every day, out of nine of them, I probably shoot two of them, so that's 60 videos, I shoot 60 videos in four days, you know what I'm saying? So they only working 20 hours a, a month, and they gonna make that. And they got the whole twenty-seven days to do what they want to do. Do, do something. And if I and if I do work another four or five, it's the it's the it's for the next month. Right. Because like right now, I got January shot up, February. I'm gonna go back and shoot that. Bam, bam, bam. I'm like, okay, let me shoot up March. Bam, bam, bam. So if I do pile up, they might get a span of three months off. You know what I mean? Wow. So, you know, uh, I, I always want to make it because when you come from the streets, you try to get everything back to easy. Because like OJ the Juice Man said, he said the rap game easy, but the dope game gravy. What he was saying is that nobody don't need to sell drugs now because you're going to prison. Right. You ain't going to make it. But the reason why everybody try to emulate, you know, try to be like drug dealers mm -hmm. with the entertainment because the game is fun. Right. So you want to give, I don't like working too hard. Right. I don't believe in that. Oh. I believe in working smarter. That working hard, I, man, my ancestors already did that. So if they work hard for me, it's for me to be easier now. Right. Ain't no way my ancestors had to work hard and now I got to work hard too. Right. It's a way if we use our mind and come to sense of wisdom, work's supposed to be fun. But you know, Wayne, how we grew up, if you weren't working hard, you weren't working. Yeah. And we got to get out of that mentality. got to get out of that. Work smarter. Work smarter. harder. Work harder. Because you know, hey, man, hey, get you a, a good paying job and just and just grind it out. Nah. Nah. It, bro, <laughs> I promise you, I, this is what I truly believe and this is going to sound crazy and nobody probably won't believe this. If I, if my ancestors worked hard, I feel like this world is mine. Even if they don't tell you. Right. When I used to get, I had 500 credit score and went to the bank and got $10,000 loan. Cause I'm like, I need this. And I feel like when you got stuff lined up in your heart right, I think God approved it mm -hmm. for us. Cause he know we, we sit behind in this world. He, he ain't just finna let you go get approved for anything. But, yeah. I, but man, I used to go to the bank and get loans with a 500 credit score. I got my daddy a loan at the bank while he was on the run for the police. Wow. But when I really needed something and I had an idea to match my belief, mm -hmm. I just did it. So I really believe, man, my ancestors don't work too hard. Because you went in there with good intentions. Yeah, I really had. I told the man, hey, man, I, I did a little swift job. I'm like, man, man, this is your family, man. This is a nice family, man. You know what I'm saying? I remember the brother used to give me that money. Yeah. He, he used to give me that money, man. I put him in my book. These bank people used to give me this money. And I did what I say and I eventually paid them back. Right. But man, I, we got to get out of that mentality, man. We got to work smarter. Like, I be telling people that, like, everybody be talking about these being gangsta. I think being gangsta, like, how we being gangsta, but you going to let somebody open up a chicken spot in your neighborhood. Right. If you, if your grandma cook chicken, auntie cook chicken, what's gangsta is when y'all get y'all income tax check, man, go get an LLC, open up this chicken spot, the hood right. going to rock with you. You correct. That's gangsta. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I always had that mentality. Man, no. Bro, I'm finna get this. I'm finna get what's mine. And ain't, I ain't got no gun. I ain't never had no gun. But it's like, I think that's what we need to do is work with our minds. Right. And then our hands won't have to lift as much. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Yeah, so I think that's what it is. I read where someone stole some money from you. Mm -hmm. I think it was like 15 grand. Mm -hmm. What did you learn from that experience? Man, they just needed it. Yeah, I, I learned not to have money out in front of nobody. Because if you got money out, most of the time somebody going to steal it. Even if somebody that you trust or know? I ain't finna put them in a position where they're gonna have to be who they really are. Right. You, sometimes you gotta help people not disappoint you. Cause if you leave some money out, <laughs> it gonna be hard. It gonna be hard not to look at it. Right. Depending on what I went through today. May. You leaving this out, this must not be true. Cause you start telling your mind all kinds of, oh, this must not be his. Yeah. So it's like, <clears throat> what I learned about that, man, a human gonna be a human. And it ain't them, they just get in position. Cause look, man, 
I was in the, a bind and I sold drugs. That was so wrong. Right. I tell people I was so broke that I had sell drugs. So that means when people get in a the crunch, they'll do things that ain't even. They wouldn't normally do. They wouldn't normally do. Did it change your relationship with that person? Do you, I mean, you was like, bro, I know you hit me. Or maybe it was. Yeah, 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 for sure. They got from around me. Because they, because I wasn't that shocked. It was more of, sometimes God will do stuff to let you know who you are. So right. now you'll know why you're not there. Right. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets to your next big event. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all your sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. With killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat, and the best price guaranteed. Game time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. Game time is the only ticket app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase. See the view from your seat before you buy so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. All in prices show you the total up front so you know exactly what you're getting a great deal before you check out. Buy tickets in two seconds with two taps. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use the code SHAYSHAY for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an app, redeem the code SHAYSHAY for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. Born in Millen, Georgia. <clears throat> it's funny that <laughs> you're from a small town in Georgia. I had 3,500 people. Millen, Georgia is actually smaller. Yeah. We had two traffic lights. Yo, you guys have one. Yeah. Had one at the mm -hmm. time. Uh, I was reading in the census that you guys have lost people <laughs> since 2020. Y'all, y'all down by 200 people. They, boy, they down, boy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that, that, that town ain't no money. It ain't no jobs. No. There's, there, there's no jobs in um, Millen, man. So what was Millen, growing up, what was Millen, Georgia like? Man, it was a small town. That's why I had all them kids. There wasn't no cable. We, man, we had nothing to do but hunch. <laughs> man, Millen is that place that ain't got nothing to do. And people tell everybody know everybody, everybody talking about everybody, and you're not getting out of there. Right. It ain't no ambitions. You got a dream, everybody gonna kill it. So it was just, man, it was one of those places. Small town, man, and nothing was there. You said small town, nobody ever gets out. But why would your mind not allow you to say that I'm not going to get out? Why didn't you feel trapped? I used to go to Atlanta for the summer. Okay. I had family in Atlanta. And my mom, we stayed in Atlanta for like three years when I was in elementary school. Okay. So I used to see, see one thing, the, the city and the country both have their pros to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Pros and cons. The city moved too fast. The country moved too slow. But I was a combination of it together mm -hmm. because me going both places. Right. Cause people call the country slow. It ain't the country ain't slow. We just ain't got the information. Right. A country boy grab on to something, you ain't getting back from. Right. That was that was no country boys. Like, it's like when I grab onto this company game, I, I'm gonna get it right. because we just we we more appreciated more like oh. But me me going back and forth, I was able to be like, oh, they swagging up here in the city. So let me bring, I used to bring my game back to the country. So I think me being able to see that, I always had the ambition because I seen people take off. And I seen how the, the Olympics changed Atlanta. Yeah. Cause I was standing there at the time like, mm -hmm. man, so my brain would never let me just get stuck in the country. Did anybody, because a lot of times, like you said, when you are from a small town and you have big dreams when no one else is from that town have ever gotten out, and d did something to what to the scale of what you're thinking mm -hmm. is easy for people to try to kill your dream. Oh, man, yeah. you ain't man. Stop. They try, be they try to kill me in the dream. <laughs> man, I like to die down there, man. Listen, man, I had so much hate in that time my whole life. I fought every year. I fought like three or four times in school because when you acting like the person who always got a dream and that confidence, they trying to kill it every day. Right. And then when you do start making it, it's a lot of hate, man. It's yeah. a lot of hate. It's a lot of hate in them times. That's yeah. why if you dodge, if you make it out of that country town, that's why the hate now people give me, it ain't yeah. nothing. It's harder, it's harder to make it from a country town because it's so so everybody knows everybody. Everybody knows everybody. And it's so small, so you're gonna get hate from people that you know. I hate for people that hate me that I don't know, it's cool. Yeah. Because I don't know them. Exactly. But I see you every day and I know you hating on me. You hating, boy. That hate <laughs> in Atlanta, they were sticking together. That's how artists was breaking. Right. In that country. They with you to a certain degree, but if you start acting like getting too big. Yeah, as long as, long as we're on the same level. As long as we're on the same level. You poor, I'm poor, we cool. We cool. But if I start to get a little bit, if I get $50 more than what you got, oh, yeah, you Boy, think you better. That than hate me. in that country, listen here now. <laughs> the hate in the country is the most strongest hate. Man, of small towns? Yeah. Come on, man. In school, what type of kid was, country, was Wayne? Man, you know, I had, I was 
best dress, had the girls and cool, you know what I'm saying? But I was always, I know how to make people laugh. Right. You know, I'm pretty smart. And uh, I knew how to get my way with my mouth, you know, you know, in my mind. Right. I was always that guy. You know, uh, a lot of parents ain't like me. Like my, my brother, mama, she ain't like me. Right. My best friend, mama, they didn't like me being around their kids. Right. I, I'm going to wake you up. Right. Man, listen, dog, we got to figure out something. Like, I, I was waking kids up. So, you know, I was, people used to call me grown. But mm -hmm. I was just real, man. I seen the real, but I was, I had fun in school. You know what I'm saying? I mean, did you go to school to learn or to get the women? I already had the women. So I went to school to politic. I loved it. It was like a part of the me. The school was like social media. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, it was like a playground. Social. I had fun. You know, you play sports and I like to laugh. Right. And uh, it was like going to, it was like a big playground. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Did you talk a lot in school? Were you a class clown? Were you, I mean, I, I was funny, but I never was a clown. Right. I just, I asked a question to disrupt the class. And I was always the guy who, who disrupted the class. But man, I was on, I, yeah, I talked a lot. Did you? I talked a lot. I ain't never stopped talking. <laughs> you lived in Savannah, Savannah for a while. I went to Savannah for like a, a month or two. How was that? It was cool, man. My daddy had, uh, he was talking to this teacher named uh, Miss Parker, mm -hmm. a nice white lady, man. But I had to get from up there because, man, they had so many fleas in their house. They had a dog, and my daddy act like he can't feel the fleas at first. Everybody act like they ain't feeling them. But one day, my daddy messed around, and he walked around with no socks on, and the fleas tore him up. So I had to get out of there. Them fleas ran me out of Savannah. They ran you out of Savannah? What? If people think roach or something, boy, you get some fleas, oh, man. them things get in your sock, you go to pop them. <laughs> yeah. I told you, my ankle was swole. It had knots on them. When did you <clears throat> learn to embrace your accent? Because, you know, we, we rule South Georgia. Yeah. I ain't no Atlanta, you know, Atlanta's the South. Yeah. But we will rule South Georgia. Well, when I went to Savannah, that's when they really started calling me country. Okay. Because they were like, man, you from Atlanta, because Atlanta and Savannah was beefing. So right. I was like, man, I ain't from no Atlanta, man. Because they were beefing. And, nah, bro, you, I, we know you from the A. Nah, man, I swear to God, I ain't from Atlanta. Right. So, but they was like, man, you don't sound like you from the A, but it's different. So I was like, hold up, man, this accent is different. Right. So I was embracing it. I was like, man, even when I came through the industry, mm -hmm. I'm like, everybody was telling me, man, you need to take a dialect coach and change. I'm like, for what? I'm going to sound different than everybody. Mm -hmm. When that country Wayne speak, you're going to know, oh, that's country Wayne right there. So I just knew it was different. You know, I just knew, because a lot of people from Atlanta, but the way we talk so Southern in that country, you hear it in us. Draw. I sound like an uncle, like Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how my uncle Elijah sounds. You right. know, uh, so I just, man, I was like, I'm just going to be me. Because it, it, it been the easiest thing I could do. When your mom passed, I think you were 11 years mm -hmm. old. Was was she sick for a period of time? Oh, man, she got sick in one week. So it was a shock, man. Okay. I think, I think that's what kind of made me not care about nothing. Because when mama died, it was like, and it was a shock. I'm like, man, the worst don't happen to me. So I always believe the worst can happen. So that's why... I tell people to know who God is, but to run to God, you got to know who the devil is. Right. So you got to know the worst can happen. So right. she wasn't sick. She got sick on, She got sick the day before my birthday, uh, the day of my birthday, December 9th, and she died December 14th. So she just she got sick. She said her head was hurting, went to the hospital. They Small town. Mm -hmm. Said it was a nerve in her neck. She said there ain't no nerve. And we didn't have no car. She had nobody to take her to Augusta the whole time. When she said her head was hurting, she was bleeding the whole time. If she would have went to the hospital, they would have yeah. saved her. But not having those resources in the country, man, mm -hmm. they made a big mistake. And the guy who came to pick her up, when she finally called the police, I mean, um, 911, um, um, she, she finally called 911 to come pick her up. Uh, she was in the hallway of the, of the house, and the ambulance came, and she was sitting like this. She said, my head hurting so bad, and he shook her. And when he shook her, she went like that right up. And I was like, man, just that small town, lack of, they made a lot of little, mis little, 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 mistakes, mi yeah. little mistakes, but man, you know, that when that happened, ever since then, my family, everybody tell me, even in a relationship, like, Wayne, you just don't care about what it is. When that happened to you, man, that's it. That, that, that ain't nothing can make me, how you gonna make me mad? You know what I'm saying? I got all this money and everything. I can't get it to my mama. Yeah, everybody wanna bless their mama, so it's like, Nothing really mattered after that. I was like, man, life, I, that's when I learned to find that laugh. I was like, damn, boy, I can make people laugh when I want. But I'm, when I'm making people laugh, I'm really entertaining myself, too. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it was. That, that was different, though. The sudden passing of your mom, 
Do you think that's had an impact on how you deal with women? Yeah, um, um, definitely, because, you know, a piece of you, you will try to end it because you don't want nothing to end. But at the same time, it, it affected me in a positive way. That's why I bless those women the way I bless them. Because my mama was, she was broken hearted, but she was broke too. Right. And no, no, none of the father of the kids really stepped in like that. My dad had helped when they ain't on good terms. Right. So that's when I broke that curse. I'm like, even if me and my baby mama ain't talking, man, I'm, I'm gonna least, I'm gonna send that paper. I'm gonna make sure they straight, and I ain't gonna just send it for the child. You ain't gonna have to worry about your rent, your car, even if you don't deserve it. Because God give me things I don't deserve. Like people be asking for God give me what I deserve. Are you sure about that? Because you know what you did behind closed doors. So I ask for undeserving favor. Mm. So. I wow. get so I treat people how I want God to treat me, and I and I seen the different impact on how my kids raised because they appreciate me more because they watch how their mama, mm -hmm. they watch how you treat their mama, especially them boys, and uh, it did have an impact on the way my children were raised because now that my they don't have to worry about that, it ain't really too much of stress about in this world. Right. We think it is, but a person who be that's why when celebrities be talking about money problems, they must forgot when I mean, you ain't got no money, but I don't want to hear that. Right. Because when you ain't got no money and you got problems, when you, if you broke a heart and broke, ooh, ooh. at least when you broke a heart, you got some money. Let me go shop and get it out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, if you broke a heart and broke, and I see my mama, this lady was stressed. And then when I see a woman stressed, I get anxiety. Because let me at least try to relieve that part. You know how people are like, let me smoke that weed. Yeah. Let me try to give her a little money. And you right. won't believe. Most of the time, you give them a little money, they think they be stressed. Hmm. For some reason, my head ain't hurt no more. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 that ain't what you see. That headache left, man. It, right. It's that money, man. My mom was broke, man. When, when your mom passed, was your dad was your dad incarcerated or was he around at the time? Of nah, he, he was in the town, you know, uh, but he wasn't around when she passed. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was around when she, she got sick when he was there and he left. You know, she was laid in the bed for some days. You know what I'm saying? So, so she got sick before my birthday. It was like December the 6th and she stayed in the bed for a minute and she went to the hospital like December 10th and uh. And she, they, were, they pronounced it um, dead on December the 14th. Wow. Yeah, so he really wasn't, he really wasn't around like that, but he didn't understand, man. Like, man, ain't, ain't nothing nobody could do at that point. Right. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, uh, everything gonna be okay, man. Yeah. When you lose your mama at that point, cause she was still my mama. She right. felt warm to me, I laid on her. I get in trouble, like she, at that age, she's your, she's your she mama. She's your rock. She's your rock. And it's like, that get took away, you be like, man, life is crazy. You know, you like, oh. Did you seem to lose a sense of purpose? But it seemed like you stayed focused because you're like, yeah, I left, lost my rock, but I still see this on the horizon out there that I got to get to. Yeah, I tried to become everything she wanted me to be. Okay. Because my mama was looking for a certain kind of man. Mm -hmm. I used to, her favorite movie was Pretty Woman. I used to be like, why she like that movie so much? Because she seen a woman who was nothing to the world. And this man who had everything seen something in this woman. Mm -hmm. And that's what I realize now why that was why that was um uh, her favorite movie. And I think that's why I was attracted to a lot of women who who was in need. Because I'm like, man, I'm gonna bless y'all. Cause the way you remember the end of the movie, uh, yes. he told her, I'ma put you in the apartment. And um I'm not I'm a, I'm a, I won't be around. And but she she wanted him. See, I I forgot that part, she wanted him. Ah! Cause I started putting women up and blessing them. You good? And I'm like, uh -uh, uh uh, I want you too. That's yeah. see, that, I, I ain't, I ain't watched the whole movie. Yeah. <laughs> but I realized, man, I became everything. Cause my mama was in a flow. She seen in me. She seen me fight one time. Why you let him get on top of you? She seen me beg to play with this dude. She was looking through the mirror. She said, Why you begging him to play? She would not let me have any softness, any flaw. She was, she was, she was turning me into the man that she wanted, cause she know this world ain't perfect. Mm -hmm. Like she didn't want my daddy. She knew my daddy was in the streets hustling with God, dog, at least drop this money off. Right, you hustling, I mean, you what you hustling? hustling? Like, if you hustling, why you ain't got breaking no you bread? You complaining. Well, you was, oh, yeah, but you went out last night, man, damn that, pay this bill. Right. When you come over here and lay up. Right. You, you can't lay up, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, yeah. come on, man. Right. So you sold drugs, with, if I'm not mistaken, your dad and your uncle. Yeah. So was that was that the family business? That was the family business. That's all we knew. Yeah, that's all we knew how to sell drugs. I couldn't think of nothing else that I could do to make money. You know, I started learning about the club business and making money off the bar and stuff while I was selling drugs. Right. But I had to give me some paper. 
Right. You know, but I did have the idea that I'm gonna use this money to do something, but I had to get the knowledge of it first. So were you guys the top dog in that small town? Yeah. And that one, man, that was that wasn't even nothing to brag about, cause it was so easy. Right. Cause I was born the top dog, cause my mama was popular, my uncle was a popular drug dealer, my daddy was a big dope boy. Right. So from my both sides of my family was the popular, best dressed, entertainers, had fun. So when I got out the, when I got out, before I even started selling drugs, everybody thought I was already selling them. Right. Because that's what that's what the family business and that's what we were known for in that time. Right. So what's your craziest uh, drug dealing story? My crazy, oh, shoot, man. Well, one time we like got killed by some Jamaicans because of my brother. What happened? This one, I had quit selling drugs. So I had quit. So I'm working at Georgia Power, but the whole time I'm looking for a plug. <laughs> <laughs> I said, this time when I come back, and man, I don't find some Jamaicans. So I went and told my brother he was still hustling. I said, bro, I got some Jamaicans, man. We're going to buy some work from him. Man, we get up there, that's in Jamaican, man. Listen, the whole time I seen that they was about to rob us. My brother went the quickest me, and he ain't see it. So I was like, man, we need to leave. I said, man, can we go to the bathroom right quick? They were like, yeah, go to the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? So I told bro, let's go in the lead. He said, no, bro, you find the plug, man. This hit, man. Yeah. We finna be like them rappers, man. Shannon, yeah. we got enough. And the boys were talking, but they was trying to find the money. I left the money in the car. Mm -hmm. And they were like, so where the money? I said, my brother said, we got the money. I said, no, nah, my, my daddy bring, my uncle bring the money when we get the drugs, you know what I'm saying? But we ain't seen no drugs the whole time. Man, my brother was still trying to stay there. But let me tell you, weed must be for some people. Cause when my brother, they gave my brother some weed, he finally hit it, he was like, Phew. he looked around, he's like, oh yeah, man, I think we need to leave to my own with my brother. <laughs> they said, no, we don't give y'all all the information, y'all ain't leaving, man. I, I, I was like, hey, hey. So them people, the whole time, they about to kill us. But they let us go, man. And that was a crazy. That's when I was selling. That when I was selling drugs. I wasn't selling drugs. Mm -hmm. But another time, me and my daddy had bought some work, and he used to test it out because he snorted powder. Right. So he snorted the powder. He was like, I was like, this dope ain't got no smell. He's like, yeah, man, I think they got us, man. He snorted him. So he don't snort a few grams. He like, damn, man. I said, dog, man, we don't got got. He said, man, I'm gonna call him in the morning, man. Cause he called him to plug one answer the phone. He said, in the morning, I'm gonna call him going up there. Man, they don't got us with some fake dope. So I like, thought, so about three o'clock that morning, he called me. I answered the phone. I said, Dad, what's up? He said, hey, son. He said, there ain't nothing wrong with that dope. <laughs> he said, it just sneak up on your leg. He said, everything good. <laughs> he said, if I don't call, call you back in the morning, I'm in the hospital. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we thought we had a bad batch, but it ended up being, um, it was the real It was the real deal, but we had a dope story for days. How you, how you in the game and ain't got no, ain't got no stick? Because I, I, I ain't move like that. When I was a dope boy, I ain't move like a dope boy. But that don't mean they not moving like that. Cause yeah, you but the country wasn't that violent. You know, everybody had guns, but I ain't had one. Because if you come to me and get it, you can have it. But the way I was moving, the way I was moving out there, man, right. uh, it was just a little different. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. You had the trap house? No, nah, I had a trap house when I first started. Right. This time, I was selling weight. Right, okay. So I knew how to turn uh, a brick into two and a half bricks. Right. So I was selling re-rock. You couldn't cook my dope. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I was cutting it. So I was able to sell so much weight. I, don't think I had to do was drop it off to people. Right. And they distributed it. You know what I'm saying? So I had I ain't had them like three or four people. Right. So the people I the people I had I knew. So and you I was the, you a kitchen man too? Huh? You was in the kitchen too? Yeah, I was in the kitchen. My daddy cooked better than me. Okay. I didn't know how to re rock better okay. than him. So I knew how to re rock. My daddy cooked, you know what I'm saying? He'll drop, you know what I'm saying, twenty eight grams, bring it back to seventy. You know, he he was better than me at that. But the people I knew and right. I would not deal with nobody else. I remember I had a dude who, who was selling dope too fast. Cause I had to stop selling re-rock because somebody somebody came from Miami with some good dope. Right. And I noticed my dope had stopped selling because I had some bad dope. I was like, man, why my dope ain't selling? Find out it was a dude from Miami had some crystal good coke. So I had to start stop re-rocking my dope and sell raw. So one week in three days, I don't went through a brick and a half. I'm like, hey man. So I went to my partner, I said, boy, I took him another quarter brick. I said, boy, you selling this pretty fast. He said, oh no, nah, I ain't selling this by myself. He said, hey, them boys from Claxton too. I said, what? I said, them boys outside, I said, oh no, tell them I ain't got none. I ain't trying to be that type of drug dealer. Right. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to take care of all the counties. Oh. So I had to back up because I wasn't trying to be too big because I still wanted to get out. Go the fair coming now. Yeah, you get you, too big, the you, fair coming. You get too big in the wrong world. I was not trying to get, I was just trying to keep enough money right. to fund my dream and pay my bills, but at the same, I wasn't trying to get too big. Did the fair come in? Yeah, they came. They came, but they came and got my daddy because what had happened was, 
he he dealt with a dude the way he was going to because he was on the run mm -hmm. for like a year so we had to start getting dope kind of local so it's a dude he was getting dope from uh in a town close by and the dude end up do end up snitching on him. Mm -hmm. but during the process we on the phone make it move so they don't got him for one case but now they finding out about and you, i was country wayne at the time yeah so the day i quit i quit man i quit and uh, I got rid of all my dope. The feds came to my house the next day. And I always try to figure out how they knew to come, but they already knew. And, um, and my daddy, they got him. They had to turn himself in. And when he was in there, the DA told him, he said, I, I, he said, don't think I don't know about your son. But and, um, he, told, he told the DA, my son is a comedian. He ain't got nothing to do with this. You know what I'm saying? My daddy kept it, my daddy kept it G. He went and did his time because by that time, I was country way into the world. Right. You know what I'm saying? So... You know that was that was a crazy journey, man. I mean, basically he took that he took that hit for you. Yeah, not really. <laughs> he, 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 hey, he could have said you was part of the operation. But he do. I told him to stop going out there. I been stopped going. I, I said I ain't sending my money no more. Right. Cause I ain't something fishy about the dude. And he kept going. So he I, they wouldn't have knew about. The whole situation. Had he done what, he, what you told him to? Daddy was moving. Man, daddy was like the son in the streets, man. He, right. He was moving reckless. Man. <laughs> so the job. So let me ask you a question. You said you worked at uh, Southern Southern, Su Southern Company. Southern Company. That's an electric company, right? Yeah. I was, I was at the environmental part, though. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so what, what, was your, what were you tasked to do? Uh, they called me double out, double zero, because they say I ain't no nothing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was supposed to do a little stuff like I was a laborer, right? You know, and um, you know that job was good, man. Right. It just you know, that child support just sent me back to the streets. You close to register Georgia too, right? With the chicken plant, ain't that a chicken plant? Oh, you talking about in class? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, and Crowders. I, I mean, you talking about Crowders and yeah. all? I, I forgot what Crowders at, man. Yeah, still more. Still more. That's yeah. that's, ex that's exactly what still more. Yeah, that's yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I used to work for the class, uh, the chicken porcher too, called yeah. chicken. I went out there to try to work one time. How was it? Got out the car and smelled that chicken. I said, I can't. <laughs> I turned right back around. I couldn't take it. I smelled that chicken. I said, I can't do it. Right. I can't do it. But yeah, man, I tried, man. I tried to work. I tried a lot of things, but you know, hey, man, I'm, I'm just glad. That's why I'm glad I'm here. Sometimes when I lose money in the casino, I'm like, man, that's for me selling drugs. I'm not supposed to lose it. What, uh, what's, your, what's your game in the casino? What you like to play? Blackjack, roulette, crap? Blackjack. Blackjack, mm -hmm. you good? I must not be. <laughs> it beat me way more than I beat it. <laughs> when you got your tax refund, you got a nice look. You had a nice look. You had a nice look grip. Yeah, I should get back by five thousand, six. And a small child like that? Oh boy, we talk, oh, man. man, you must don't know. You King Willie did. Yeah, you get back, boy. Boy, my baby mama used to get back seven, or eight. And when I was hustling, I'm like, I need some of that. Yeah. Cause they claim with them. Uh, you finna give me that. If you won't ask me for money all year. And uh they used to give me that. Well, I ain't gonna lie, Gina used to give me her money. She said that to this day. I'm the only one who used to give you my tax money. Nobody didn't believe me. <laughs> 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 hey, Gina used to give me that tax money, boy. Because I just make I just tell everybody to give me their tax money because you finna so that way I can buy more dope. Cause right. you finna ask me for money all year. Right. Invest in the pile. Right. You know what I mean? But yeah, that tax money. Yeah. That tax money. I feel like that's why I tell people when you get that tax money, man, you supposed to you and your family members, man, should go go get a chicken spot, man. Go go get something. Go start a business. Mm -hmm. Cause that's what I should do. Invest in my parties. Every dollar I used to get, I always invested before I spent. I don't really spend money. Cause you had a nightclub, right? Yeah, I had a nightclub, but I was throwing parties before the nightclub. Right. I I wanna never start it. It's like Hollywood. I wanna never try to come if I ain't already have a fan base. Right. So I always move like that. Only reason I opened a nightclub because I already was throwing a party. Right. I already had the clientele. Right. So every business I start, man, you got to have leverage for something before. Right. So yeah. So I had I had the nightclub. So you had a little juke joint. You had a little hole. You had I had two on. I had the spot, and then uh, I was throwing parties at the spot. Then I got my own club, uh, the spot. So right. I had two. I had fifty percent. I was getting fifty percent of the money in this one. Then I opened my own. Right. And man, them clubs were jumping. That's why it was. Yeah, them small towns, they, no, they ain't going nowhere but to your club. Yeah, them club were doing, I was profiting like, between both of them, I, I was profiting like 21000 profit. I was making like 40, 40, 50, but I was profiting like $21,000 $20, $20, and up a month. Profit. I'm talking about after I buy the liquor, 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything, pay everybody. No clubs. No clubs are jumping. Because, you know, the rent and everything, the One license. Night, yeah. I was only open on Saturdays. That's it? I, I had You go online and Google. It's probably on YouTube, my old Facebook. I'd be like, if, you, if you're at the spot, you're hot. If you ain't, you're not. It's your boy Country Wayne, man. Meet me at the spot. And the whole time, I'm the comedian going viral online. So right. I still ain't trying to go to Hollywood. Right. I'm using my... I was using all these people, hopefully some on drive. Right. But my club stayed packed because I was country way in the streets, now I'm country way online. Right. So I'm in the club business. Man, I wasn't I wasn't paying attention to the comedy. You still own the club back down? No, I got rid of them. Why? Because when I started touring with comedy, them guns, my brother called me one night. He said, I said, how, how everything was? I had did a show in Albany, Georgia. I'm sleep. It was about four o'clock in the morning. He said, everything good. I said, you got the money? He said, yeah, we made a bunch of money tonight. Say this one, this one other thing. Somebody got shot. I say what? <laughs> the helicopter out here right now. So the violence was, you know, I don't close. When I was there, I never had a problem. Right. But when I used to leave, it's get crazy. Wow. But the, yeah, and you know, still get the alcohol, the that, fight. The listen, that, it's that port. I mean, let me tell you something. Alcohol bad, but it's a lady named Pam. Shout out to Miss Pam. She started bringing sauce meat in the cup. No, what, what the, 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 the stuff in the cup? Gonk. Yeah. I was watching them. That made them fight more than the liquor. I said, girl, if you don't get this guy during pork out of here, so that food and that, and that alcohol. Yeah. Man. And music, that ain't a good combination. No. Nah. So you tried you tried to rap before comedy. That yeah. was your, your your whole thing. You wanted to be a growing up, you yeah. wanted to be a rapper. Yeah, I ain't want to be no. Then had the babies, and you kind of put that on hold. But the comedy thing, how did the comedy thing come about? Because I started back rapping once I got my dope money. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in Atlanta. And this is what happened with the comedy game. Uh, I'm, I'm um, DC Young Fly, Emmanuel Hudson, and Philip Hudson was doing a, um, a, a video called Slide in the DM. Yeah. And DC was kind of new. He had like 200 some thousand followers. Right. And I and it was this girl. I you know what I'm saying. I kind of had a crush on her. Name was Kayla. I okay. ain't had told her yet. Right. But I'm sitting here, dope boy. If I can put me, nobody don't know who I am. DC walk up. She was like, you know, that's the comedian. I'm like, what? She said, oh, yeah. She said that's DC Young Fly. They about to be stars, you know. I'm like, hold up. Comedians got the juice now? Mm -hmm. I'm like, hold up. This dope stuff over. <laughs> I could be funny. That's the gift God gave me. I'm out here trying to do everything else, rap. Right. So, man, I went back home and started doing them videos. And I went viral in 30 days. And after that, I started posting three three videos a day. Right. Within four months, five months, I had like a million followers. And, and man, it ain't stopped since. What is it about it seems to be so appealing to young black men, the rap game. What what is it so appealing? Uh, first of all, the rap game like the dope game. You know what I'm saying? But it's just to be honest, people want that. They want that money. Well, I wanted the money to come with it, and I, and I could flow. But most of the young generation, man, they want what come with that. Cause the doctor got money, but they don't see the doctor sauce. They want people want the sauce. And, and the rappers, they want the girls, they the, want the, the girl. name, right. the notoriety, and notoriety, and, and, and because the one thing about Satan, he do a good job of advertising. Mm -hmm. So what I tell people who even in the church or whatever, I'm like, man, y'all got to advertise better. <laughs> Cause that talking all day gonna get it, man. You gotta get a different suit, man. Them suits flapping at the heel, man. You got to change it up, right? Because the devil is doing a good job. Yeah, he, and, and we all know advertisement work. Yeah, absolutely. So That's I'm what he like, do it. I just think the devil, he. People, I tell people this, man, all the time, man, the devil is working harder than people who say they believe in God. Like, I believe in God, but right. I work hard to show them that you could get these women too. Right. Yo, you could get this drill. You could get this money. I do that because I'm competing with the nigga. I got to even, I got to, I use my sons as a test. I had to compete with them. My sons would listen. When I first got back around them, they would listen to a lot of that rap music crazy. But when they got back around me and they seen their daddy, hold up, the women ain't going nowhere. Shoot, daddy got a Rolls Royce. Daddy got that money. And he he known right. It I'm fighting the energy. So you got to fight because until then, rappers gonna win. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying rapping negative. I ain't saying the people who rap negative, but the vibe that come with it. Mm -hmm. It's a it's just a lot of negative vibe because you ain't showing. If you showed them rappers something else, they would have tried something different. But probably it's like man, ain't nothing else, man. You get everything you want. People shot you out, and, and they still let you to church. Right. Like, so it's like. So you know, what was your flow? So if, if I were to compare Wayne, so who was your flow like? I had a little mixture of a, of a shout and low. Uh, mm -mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to shout and low, man. I, I used to book him when I was throwing parties and stuff. 
And uh, I kind of sound like T.I., you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, when I talk fast. Right. But I sound Southern, but I was just rapping, you know, just rapping about what I was doing. Right. So who are some of <clears throat> your favorite artists today? Today? Yeah. Uh, well, back in the day, it was T.I. T.I. You know what I'm saying? T.I. was my guy because mm -hmm. he was mainly talking about women and money. I don't like people talking about guns because I ain't never had one. I don't, I don't register to that. When, they, when the gun song come on the club, I leave. But um, <laughs> nowadays, I mean, I like Lil Baby. I like Lil Baby because when Lil Baby say, when, 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 I'm Lil Baby. I'm like, I put up a video. I'm like, this boy about to go. Right. On um, Raw Wave. I like it. I like his flow. Uh, I, Kevin Gates, when he, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, I pretty much like, I pretty much, I pretty much like everybody flow. I like Money Bad. I like Money Bad flow. Uh, I pretty much like it's some, oh Kodak Black. I feel like Kodak Black ride that beat. Right. Young Thug made me quit rapping. Why? Man, he was riding that beat too good. When I heard Young Thug rap, I'm gonna be by the way. Hey, check him on up. I like hell no, I can't do that. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna get twelve dollars a show. <laughs> yeah, if this the new version, I'm done. <laughs> but you play a lot of old songs. Yeah. I'm an old school. I love that old school music. I'm an R&B type. You know, I like Anita Baker. I like Jay LaBert. I mean, I'm 36, but right. I got an old soul, man. I grew up in that country, so, you know, I'm like, I like, I like that R&B music. Okay, well, give me your Mount Rushmore. Give me your four favorite old school artists. Oh, my God. You finna do this on these brown leather souls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With I the get, cameras on. With the cameras on. You don't give a four. God, to Matty. Four. Hold up. Four. Can I say one of them? Yeah. Now this person, I ain't talking about what he did, but you, Kelly. Yeah, you got. We're gonna say Kelly. R, you, hey, it is what R it Kelly. is. God say we R don't Kelly. condone what he did, but the man musical talent R cannot Kelly. be denied. And after that, I gotta put Anita Baker in there. Okay. Yeah. And who else do I like? Anita Baker. Mm 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 mm. R and B. <laughs> Oh man, you got to put him in there because that album came. Usher, he just confession. They, hey. that, that, what he did with that, people ain't did that with ten albums. Yeah. And then after that, man, you got to you got to put Beyonce. You okay. know what I'm saying? She been part of the game too long. I ain't right. gonna take her out. But yeah, yeah. Atlanta. Why do you think Atlanta's dominating the music scene? Because you know, back in the mid '90s, uh, with that group with a. Uh, uh, Babyface and L.A. Reid, that kind of like, like, that was like the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, you had a, a TLC and you had, you know, those uh, Escape. And it's just like, then J.D. came along and it's just, how, how, why is Atlanta dominating the music scene? I think they set it up, um, all those guys that you're talking about, you know, Outkast, but when T.I. them brought that trap music, they yeah. took Atlanta to another level that it, it haven't reached yet. Yeah. I told T.I., I said, having an artist reach where you reach yet, mm -hmm. with how hot you was. He was like, no. Nah. I said, Tilt, bro, you had commercials. You had, T.I. had women singing songs that weren't even hit on his albums. But I think right. Atlanta is where it's at because it's it's the only one city of its kind in the state of Georgia. Versus other places, like in California, you might have the Bay Area, mm -hmm. you might got LA. Right. Atlanta is supported by all those small towns. It got it's like me. I'm so supported by Facebook, people don't even know why I'm popping so big. Right. But I got that Facebook audience so strong mm -hmm. that the, the audience that nobody pays attention to. Mm -hmm. So Atlanta just so big to Georgia, right. and then to the rest of the world, it's one of the popular cities. So Atlanta is a is a uh, ecosystem without nobody right. really supporting it. Right. And with the young comedians, you got Drewski, you got uh, 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 85 South, you got Desi. Yeah. It's, Atlanta crazy. Because we reminded them, I, we reminded we sounded like the rappers. So it's like rappers already had you, your ear. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So then we come, right. sounded Southern. Me, Desi, DC, Young Fly, we were just a branch off what was already moving. Right. So the Atlanta, so it came crazy again. So you said DC, DC, uh, and I had DC on. Made you want to do comedy because you saw, hey, they, they like, hey, yeah, the, the, the women they like, movement, they like fly. Boy, that that movement was going right. Uh, I, I'm like, man, hold up, what? When I seen DC on fly, I say, man, these boys doing comedy. Oh man, I'm finna, I'm finna get in this, and I'm finna tear this up. Right. Cause I didn't see myself could be the best rap in the new generation. Right. After I seen Young Thug rap and Kevin Gates singing and rapping at the same time, I'm like, hell no, I can't mess with them boys. 
when I got to come in the game, I'm like, boy, I, man, I'd be, I'd be one of the greats. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The new right. generation, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm going, I'm finna tear this up. But you, I've seen you've done a lot of skits with Kevin Hart, Mike Epps, Ricky Smiley, mm-hmm. Luda, Charlemagne the God, uh, Boosie, T.I., B. Simone, Jess. Hilarious. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean you, should I bring her name? Oh, you can bring her whatever you want to bring. I mean, you know. Yeah. You want to talk about that? No, I, man, listen, brother. I just want to know. I just want to know. I come out of, look, I, anything, I ain't messy. Anything you want to talk to me about, I, I think ain't, but, this but, sofa is, ever since Cat Williams touched this sofa, <laughs> the energy in this sofa, it make me want to talk about it. I mean, I did. I don't know if you heard, but she was on Cam Newton's show, mm-hmm. and she said, you know, y'all was in a relationship, yeah. and you know, she had to wake you up one morning because it had gotten out that y'all Man. were together. I mean, you want to, you want to laugh. I mean, she told her side on his show, and you want to tell your Jess, side. Jess, like I always told her, she never tells the one hundred percent truth, and I let her do that. Okay, but I tested the other day. I said, Jess, man. And I got kind of pissed. I said, you got to get more going on in your career so they can start bringing up my name right. in your interview. Wow. Because when I come, Netflix special, his book, you know what I'm saying, this going on, that going on. We don't got to die on each other. That's been, man, that's been five years ago. Right. If that's the main question in your interview, well, we got to put some work in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. when Country Wayne come, when I go on Good Morning America, here, this they, the last, they, they, we don't talk about so much before we got to that. Exactly. You feel me? I'm like, man, we don't have And I, I was comfortable not talking yeah, about exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, you can't, it's not working in your favor. Right. People can pretend it, but they watching. They see Country Wayne is taking care of black people. Movement. Don't let the people fool you. Right. They ain't on your side. I'm like, it, 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 ain't, it ain't working. So I was just like, man, a lot of that that she talk about, I let it slide, but man, that stuff ain't play out like that, right. man. You know what I'm saying? I separated from my wife, right. went and got Jess, and you know what I'm saying? And and that was it. I started talking to her. Right. And I got divorced. My divorce was four to five days. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, me, me and her started talking. And then all the stuff she talking about on there, cause my baby mama hit me up. She was like, can you please ask Jess to stop talking about that? Because now the kids are hearing it at school because right. she keep bringing it up and mm-hmm. that's the only reason made me hit up right i'm like jess man i ain't never said nothing negative about you and everybody know that right let that ride right you know what i'm saying but she want to be the winner i'm like jess just be real because Charlamagne asked one time he said how you lose jess larry i said how she lose country wayne i'm the catch right what you talking about like let's be real my my baby mama's yeah they fine in his own or what jess fine too right but i've been had them she ain't had no country wayne right you know what i'm saying so I'm like, man, let's just let's stop that, man. First of all, it's two black people talking. If you're gonna speak, just speak the truth. Cause this sofa right here. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just, no, but I'm like, I'm like, man. But nah. she did say, you know, she woke you up. No, nah, that ain't come on, man. That ain't happen like that. Happen like that not happen like that, man. That divorce went so fast. I filed in December. We was we me and my baby mom was divorced by February. But at that point in time, when you had separated from your wife, you had started talking to Jess. Yeah, I had started talking to Jess. Okay. Now, all this stuff came out of the shade room. A lot of that was after that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And she just, she say, we woke up. And then she was like, um, I tell him all the time, his stuff corny. I'm like, why you got to call my stuff corny? Because I got a different audience that follow me too. Right. You know what I mean? I got the streets in the church. Okay. Ain't too many artists got the streets in the church. You know what I mean? Man. What I be seeing, what you be talking about, you be making on social media month. That ain't nothing corny about that. Ain't that ain't nothing corny, but see, that's that mentality of people from a certain, it's like, this, this world think this world corny. This world think this world corny. I think Martin was a good show and Big Bang Theory. Right. Uh, two uh, different audiences. Just because you think Friends corny, when they get the million episode, you ain't going to never grow artistically because you think only what you come from is good. Right. And that's the problem with everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. like, bro, you going to call this corner just because I ain't cursing because I'm finna get this in-stream ad money? Well, y'all keep going on tour. Yeah. Got to keep catching the boy Wayne sitting home in the bed spending time with his kid. You know what I'm saying? Making this guapo. You know what I mean? So what's your favorite viral video that you created? Man, shoot. I guess the first one. We had the fake like you like your girlfriend's cooking. Cause that's that that started it off in that day. But that was true though, huh? You had to fake a couple of times, huh? Yeah, I yeah. I don't had to fake a lot of times. Man, my I ain't gonna lie, boy. My boy, my baby mama cooked me some pork chops one time, just not eating that pork, and it was so good. But let me tell you something. My blood pressure shot through my hair. 
Man, I remember I was laying on the sofa and she had cooked me one, but it was so good and I knew it was the pork chop. But look, get what I said. What? She said, You want some more? I said, yeah, just give me one more. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you, you like to kill me. And then I had this white girl named Holly one time. <laughs> what she cook? <laughs> I should be saying their name, man. Damn, what's in this water? <laughs> You see that special water right there? Well, I, I need to move it from back. I got it too close. Put, put that in between us. Boy, it's something about this sofa right here, boy. Hey, no, nah, but man, Holland, she, I had started going vegan and she used to hear me saying, you know, she was a white girl. Yeah. So, so, so she like, I'm finna do something different than the black girls. I hear him. He said he wants food. Man, she cooked me some brownies. I waited for them to dry all day. She said they were just wet because they ain't had dry yet. Right. Let me tell you something. That goo ain't got their gum. Like, it killed my goddamn throat and stomach. It was like glue. Mm. And I was tasting that. She was like, how, how is it? I said, it's moist. <laughs> <laughs> it like it killed me, man. But you know everybody ain't going to be able to cook that food, vegan food like I that. I know. But I taste it. Yeah, everybody ain't going to be able to cook it. I, I tell people, only way you're going to be able to cook the vegan if you was able to cook the real food. So... I think all the real cooks just a real cook because the people who are good at vegan, it was the people who was cooking good food anyway. So, the one you did when you found out your 13 year old son had a, a girlfriend and her mama was fine. Yeah, I did, man. I was coming up, I come up with skits all day. So what I was doing, once I seen that money in those skits, I was coming up with these scenarios I got in my head and I just put them out. You know what I'm saying? I come up with ideas, da 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 You do this, you do this, you do this. Bam, we don't edit. We record it, cut off the action, cut off the cut, bam. We there. We there. I don't edit or nothing. I use my cell phone. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you got very little overhead when you shooting this. The money go to the people instead of the equipment. That's how because it cost me two hundred fifty thousand dollars a month to shoot these kids now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you but know. you shoot like thirty or forty. Yeah. I, I, I know. I drop three hundred skits a month. That's got like 900 something skits a day. I mean, 90, nine skits a day, right. sometimes 10. Uh, most time 10, 10 to 12. Because Phil got two, Brad got three, Mike got three, that eight, then I got two. Yo, so mainly um, right. nine to 10 skits. Yep. Let me ask you uh, your strategy, because you say you big on Facebook. And a lot of people, and I had to get out this way of thinking, like when you looked at Facebook, you think, okay, class reunion, family reunion. That's why, oh. that's why Jess called me corny, because she think that audience is corny. Mm -hmm. But that's who got the money. See, they aiming at the wrong audience. Right. Because the aunties is one giving, the mamas giving you money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that audience, it's the hardest audience to get. Because if, if Beyonce got a cake and Ashley got a cake, they going to taste it and whoever cake is better. Right. They going to buy. But there's a, there's a, there's they don't a, care if it's Beyonce cake. But there's a big enough audience. Taylor Swift audience isn't necessarily Beyonce's audience. Mm -mm. But you don't think they're making no grip? They make, I'm t it's a lot of people in this world, man. Thank you. And when black people, to blow up with the black community and really get that money, because, you know, that's why, to be honest, I'm just being transparent. That's why I'm able to make so much more than a lot of black creators because I got everybody. Now, everybody might not like me in this clique, but everybody know Country Wayne in every clique. Right. And you go to the streets and be like, oh, I rock with Wayne, drip. You go to the aunties, oh, I love Country Wayne. Ricky right. Smiley, right. Tyler Perry fans love Country right. Wayne. Right. But what I realized as black people, you can't afford to cut off an audience because there's not enough. Right. So when you black and that's all you got, you better be transparent. Right. That's why I stopped cursing in my company. Okay, I'm already raw. So let me stop cursing so at least, because it's hard to sell out. You, you can get another demographic. Yeah, and, and that's what happened. I end up getting the church. They like, right. okay, right. Wayne raunchy, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, at least he don't curse. Right. And uh, and in and, and the hood, like, Wayne ain't cursing, we only, but he talking about the right subject. Right. So I had to, if you, until you get that, all audiences, you know, until you Taylor Swift them, man, if you're dealing with black people, man, you right. better be transparent. Right. Mm -hmm. You big on <clears throat> Facebook and, and YouTube. Yeah. Because that's YouTube is, is, you know, they're trying to prioritize things a lot. Yeah. So, so where, 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 do you, where do you release most of your content? On both. So what I do every morning, I was monetizing on Instagram, but they stopped it. Right. Because nobody wasn't doing it. I was, I was, making, I was making like 
90 grand a month, little side money on Instagram. But what I do, I release a video. Mark Zuckerberg, you need to start that back up. <laughs> <laughs> what I do, I release on Facebook and the same video go to YouTube and everything. Right. So I, I got eight different pages, but oh, hold up. Three of them get new content, the, the new content that day. Three of the new, yeah, three of the pages. So when I drop it on Facebook, I got I got a person uploading it to YouTube too. Mm -hmm. So it just crossed the board. So right. that one video is just going across the board. Right. And it, it, it just monetized on both platforms. Right. So what so what are your thoughts on TikTok? I ain't seen the money yet. I don't come until I see the money. Right. When I, I, I called somebody the other day, is money over there yet? When I see them longer, them longer videos, cause what they're doing, this is what they're doing. They want people to do longer videos because mm -hmm. they can put the in stream ad. Right. But people doing reels and stuff, that ain't doing nothing but helping the platform. Right. Because the platform is growing and they're going to slide an ad in right after your video. Right. But the in stream ad, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but see, if they slide it after your video, you don't get any of that. You don't really get any of that. That's why they'll pay you for reels because they paying you to keep people on their on the pay, on, on the their platforms. page, but to get that money, you're gonna have to get in stream ads. Right. But the reason why people don't deal with in stream ads because it, it, it's technical. You can't do this. You can't say this. So that's why when 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 two people do the do uh, get together on my page, I say cross the line, and I never show it. They might start kissing, and I fade away. You get the picture. I ain't got to show nobody leg up. Right. You so, know what's going on. Yeah. So you got to get this. You got to get, be creative. You got to be creative yeah. with the creation. You right. can't be creative just with the content. You got to get creative on how you get the money. Right. And that's what people don't feel like doing. But like, man, people be like, I ain't finna do that, man. I ain't changing who I am. But okay. when you go on these white people show, I don't hear you do that. Right. You gonna do whatever they tell you to do. Right. So it's like, man, I just, I found a way to do it, and it ain't changed my life because it's residual income. Because as you know, in this content game. Right. It, it's companies out there to follow your, if anybody posts my stuff or whatever, I get the money. Right. Because so what I did, I was like, I got 4,000 videos out now. So I don't look at myself as stacking money anymore, I'm stacking content. Right. So that way my money, cause now I got pages with my old videos right. on there that's making, I got pages making, Mike page on Facebook, just some side money making 40 a month. Just me posting right. old drip videos. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just throwing away. Right. So the content game is, it's, it's, it's the new way. Right. Because it's something we can control. It's something we can do. And I share the game with everybody because I'm like, man, I hate to see people pages who ain't monetized. Right. I'm like, how you, I be going through people's Facebook page. I'm like, boy, oh, YouTube, you got all these followers? Boy, if you knew what this money, this that sit, this that, boy, this yeah. that sit down money. Yeah. How many videos do you post today? Um, um, nine, nine on the low end, but 10 to 12. Every day? Every day. 30 days a month? Yeah. 365. 365, boy. You a busy man. You ain't got time to tour. No, nah, I pay people to do that. Yeah. But I'm saying, but you got, so you shoot, so how, to shoot 30 days worth of content, how many days do you actually, I, I'm not shooting it. There's, that's their storyline. Right. I don't gave people, like Mike, turn in four videos a day. Okay. I got Chase Walker, he turned in three videos a day. I got Philip Hudson, he turned in two videos a day. So nine of them videos, I'm not even there. Okay. Like they're shooting videos right now. Right. And they and I I, I give them a fee right. for turning in the content. Okay. So I, I I I built that system so I wouldn't have to be there. Right. Because if, if it if, if the page is dependent on me, as soon as I go do a movie or TV show, it ends. Right. So when I had got called for this TV show, uh that's coming out in February, you know what I'm saying? You know, like I gotta go on tour in March. So I go, I go on tour in March. I'm not going to be able to work like that. So I need my page to keep running while I'm gone. Right. So that's why you stack it up all the, that's why you stack it up all up now. Yeah. So when you're on tour, you're still going to be able to leave. And, and they're going to keep moving. Right. And you'll be able to keep just. I keep my, I got that 930 slot. The 930 video will be mine. And right. that will keep the page really, that'd be the main storyline. So long right. as I keep that 930 slot, you know, post it, everything good. So you basically created a TV show using skits. Yeah. That's what, that's what, that's what you've done. That's what I've done. So how did you how did you come up with that idea? How did who who taught you or did you like man? Let me see, what can I do to like make this paper? Because I know it's out here that if something were to go, if I move in a different direction, I can still do this and still make this bread. TV. I was watching TV, so I'm like, oh, they ain't watching shows like that no more. They still want a show. They just want it quick. So I just man, it's like cooking crack. Right. You know what I mean? Like, well, yeah, you ain't got to wait. You got to wait on BMF. You ain't got to wait on me. So until, <laughs> so until BMF come, Country Wayne got you. Right. 
And so I filled that gap of all that waiting on the show. Right. Because I hate waiting. Right. When I was watching Power, I'm like, it's good, but I got to wait. Me, I'm every day. Right. Hey, Wayne got you. So when right. your show come out, until then, I'm your side. I told you, uh, the algorithm is a woman. Right. So I'm the dude, why he, he messed up, or well, y'all ain't talking, I'm him. You here. I'm, I'm always here, baby. <laughs> I'm going to stay up. So when y'all going through stuff, I'm going to be here. And that's what I, and that's the void I filled online. And I learned it. Storylines was the key because they could yeah. follow. Because mm -hmm. if you just post a funny skit, they're going to forget about it in three days. But if something else comes, something else comes. It, like, it reminded me of the stories back in the day. I say, if I could do this mm -hmm. on social media, boy, I'm going to change the game. Right. Do you feel you could turn some of your skit storylines into a TV show? They better have some money. I'm gonna make so much money this year. I'm making movie star money already. It ain't been nothing big. So they gotta show me where the money at. Cause for what I'm hearing in these deals, I got it got it gotta make sense for me. Right. Cause this is getting just as much attention. You know, I'm able, the to, SM I'm able to sell out tours. I did a special that went number one with no promotion. I went number one on Netflix with no with no promotion, just for my people. Mm -hmm. It seemed like I don't know if it's going towards this way, but I'm going to sit back in my trap until the deal makes sense. I don't have offers and stuff like that, but it just got to make sense because who? Boy, that social media getting crazy now. It seemed like you adopted Tyler Perry's strategy. Yeah. Tyler Perry have a, has an audience that he caters to, and it works for him. Mm -hmm. Seemingly, you have an audience that you cater to that works for you. That, that was the only strategy to adopt. Because big as a, pe a lot of people are, why Tyler Perry got more money than rappers? Why Tyler Perry got more money than everybody? Because he really took his own money and he understood the importance of his people. Right. Tyler Perry mm -hmm. content is probably mostly known to black people. Yes, for sure. It's people who tour around the world, got all everybody come to their show. Why do he got more money? Because he's seen the value of feeding his people and what people talk about. Man, his content ain't good. Why? It's good to black people. Right. Them odd scenarios. We ain't been through, man, we ain't been out of space for real. Right. That's why we can't. I don't know what's out there. Right. But I know, I know Big Mom. So Tyler Perry, I did take that off him because I'm like, man, they can say what they want to by Tyler. Tyler got more money than Will Smith. And Will Smith don't been in the biggest movies in the world. Just think, just think about that for a mm -hmm. moment. Tyler Perry, with the, 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 the content they say with the wigs twisted or what? Will Smith don't got the best makeup, the best. And, Independence Day and, men in black. And this man got more money than them. Mm -hmm. To me, it's common sense. Right. If you feed our people and then take them, you got you got to slow walk them to new content. Right. You know, and cause I'm I'm, a, I'm on a show with um, Lisa Kudrow, Time Bandits is a whole different kind of show. Right. And my fans gonna watch it, but I've took them to let them they see me grow to be. Right. This is a big production that I'm right. on, you know, coming out coming out. But man, yeah, you got it. I feed my people, man. Well, who taught you how to monetize the internet correctly? Correctly, I heard about it. And then I called Ryan Davis and I was like, man, y'all making money on that for real? He said, y'all got a $20,000 check coming this month. So I said, how you do it? And Ryan was like, video got three minutes, log in. I said, is that simple? So I went on there and did, I, I recorded me and my kids in the bed and it made $70. And I said, oh, I'm finna be, well, I said, I'm finna be wealthy. <laughs> they are rich. If I can make money off this cell phone right. and spend time with my kid, that's why I put my baby mama in the videos to pay off some of that child support. Ah, they didn't even know it, huh? They, 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 no, they, I tell them. <laughs> I say, you ain't getting paid for this, I'm letting you know, because y'all already got paid. <laughs> but nah, I seen it, man. I was so excited, and I was telling everybody. I went to, man, I went to Carlos Miller, DC, them, I'm like, how we got to get on this internet, da 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 da. But nobody wasn't really paying attention, but man, right. I, I, man, I went up, and this year, man, this year, you know, it, it went crazy 23 in 2020. Yeah, I was saying you barbershop say you doing six, eight hundred by a month. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you do six hundred on a slow month. That's a, that's a bad month. Well, skits? Yeah. Joy, we get your camera out. That's you got a, you got a skit coming. That's bad month. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of haters out there saying I wasn't doing it, but I really ain't giving a damn. Cause right. I really ain't want my number out there anyway, cause child support, but I felt like why they count in your pockets though? I think a lot of people was mad because they feel like I got it too easy. You know right. what I'm saying? Coming up in the way the comedy game I came up in. Right. They feel like I got stand up. I was able to do stand up because I ain't go through the regular routes. So I had to go through that with that. And then when it came to social media, they want to be like, hey, he ain't making that. Right. I'm like, why would I lie? And I'm trying to hide from child support. Right. You know what I'm saying? 
but everybody who really do this, they know they know that money possible. If yeah. I show them my numbers, you know, it go crazy. Stealing jokes. That mm -hmm. seemed to be a big issue with, with comedians. Now. Oh, yeah. They steal joke. You ever stole somebody's joke? No, nah, I ain't never stole nobody's joke because I don't really, I talk about me a lot. Right. So it's hard for me to steal somebody with Because I, I, I talk about Wayne. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, you good, bro. You okay. Good. Yeah, you good. Uh, do y'all party hard, the comedians? No, nah, I don't really hang with, I don't really hang with nobody. I hung with Kevin Hart, went to his party. Right. You know, Kevin, Kevin Hart party was fun. Like, it was a perfect party for me. But no, nah, I don't really hang, I don't really hang with comedians. After everybody be in their own world, and then when we have shows, that's when we get around each other. We just laugh. Everybody go out there and do what they right. set, you know. But now I tour by myself. So. Right. Nah. So I, you, we were talking about it earlier, and I want to get back to this. There were some OG comedians that mm -hmm. were saying things about you. Mm -hmm. You picked up. Hey, bro, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, I called. I called Faze on Love. I was like, Hey, man. This is Why? Is, what is it with Faze on? Why he in it with everybody? I think Faze on trying to. I think he don't figure it out the internet. He trying to get his name out there, huh? He trying to get his name. But dealing with Wayne, he don't know you're dealing with the wrong one because people knew me. Right. Like, he was talking about my special trash, but he don't know. He think I just started this. Man, them jokes, so I'd been, I know them jokes were hitting because I don't took it around the world and toured it. Right. When you do a special, he should know this. They ain't no loud tracking my special. Right. They really laughing that hard. Right. You know what I mean? Right. They laughing so consistent, it was, they tried to, because, you know, you can't laugh. You, they can't laugh when you talk at the same time. Right. So you got to try to, and my company is offbeat. So he ain't know them. The problem was all my shows is da -da -da -da, them jokes is I already tested. But he thinks Wayne he's he trying to get in the loop, but he ain't got enough information. He don't know what's going on in the loop. So he trying to get hot, but he ain't got his information right. So he sounds stupid. But why does he care? He ain't paying for a concert ticket. He, he don't have to man, listen to your. He ain't up, man. If I had his career, I'd cry. <laughs> if I've been doing comedy, comedy like a woman, right? It don't want you, right? If you've been doing that that long, bro, it don't like you, dog. <laughs> if your biggest thing is an elf suit, <laughs> and you bragging about being in these people elf suit, well, I mean, he what? I mean, he what? He did play worm. I mean, he did play big perm. Listen to that. Big perm. If you a grown man and you still uh, graduating, I mean, um, bragging about a big worm, big, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever. Bro, I've been in the game a few years. Yeah. I don't ran it up and I got my audience. Right. And I'm good. And you, and I feel bad for him come like, man, bro, you ain't got to do that. Because I'll show you the game. Right. I, I'll show you the game. You know what I'm saying? Every comedian I get around, listen, man, you phase on love, get on here and do this and that. Start doing skits of this. I'm gonna show you the game, but you don't got to. He, he, he when, trying to bad by But you. I don't get mad because at the end of the day, when you up like this, and you get so much love, the hate got to come with it. Okay. The hate got to come with it, but now you just okay. I'm you learning. Look, you you looking you looking like a fool. Yeah. Because you don't got the inform you don't got no yeah. information, and now you sound a stupid man. Like bro, you just ain't you just ain't good. You just anytime you've been doing this this long, bro, you you ain't good. Right. Cedric the Entertainer wrote the forward for your book. Yeah. How do you get said to do that? How long you known said? I know said for uh, I know said. You know, I've been a fan of said for years, and then we had a situation doing a TV show together, or whatever. But uh, man, I hit him up. He came to one of my shows. Mm -hmm. He came to one of my shows and seen me how I rock my show. Right. And a lot of comedians once they come to my show, they'll see what's up. Right. You know. Uh, and he came, and and I had the book come out, and. And you know, he showed me love. All the comedians showed me love. Kevin Hart hit me up. Now comedians competitive, like Kevin Hart met me, he said, I can't call you comedian until I see you do stand up. My special right. drop, he called me, say, bro, you a true comedian. You know what I mean? Wow. But Face on Love just that hate in his heart, man. I'm like, bro, you bro, I, I called this man. And he was like, no, nah, man, man, you good. Then a month after that, you still talking. So that's when I left it alone. Like, oh, you trying to get some clout. Right. But bro, you just ain't good. <laughs> you you just ain't. If you've been doing it this long, if I try something this long and ain't rewarded me yet, yeah. I'ma check myself. Now, now that's a hobby. You know, that ain't no day no occupation. Right, you still in come to clubs. But I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? If, if, I, I'm in theaters. You say you call yourself a professional golfer. You ain't out on the tour. Yeah. So that's a hobby now. Man, you just, and I don't got the tour already. Right. You know what I'm saying? He don't understand who he was dealing with. He called out the wrong target. Right. Because you dealing with a, I'm a winner. Right. So you you, you aimed at the wrong target, bro. You just 
you just ain't like that, bro. You ain't been in no big roles. Right. You think, I don't know who calling you a legend. You know what I mean? Because you ain't, you ain't one of the ones. Mm -hmm. if, if, if Faison fell out, fell out the earth, we're going to put him on shade room for a minute. Now, now they come in say, oh, he was so good in the ice cream truck. Then we're going to forget <laughs> about it. <laughs> Give me a Mount Rushmore comedian. Mount Rushmore? Oh, yep. my God. Dead or alive. Give me but a we got, But that Mount Rush, Rushmore got to go long, though. No, you ain't got but four heads. You know, come on, Wayne. I know you've been in school a little while, Man. but you only got four heads. Got to put Eddie Murphy up there. Okay. We talking stand up or just movies? Comedy. You're, you're, you're Comedy. Mount Rushmore Mount, comedian. Hey, I'm going to put Mount Rushmore mine's comedian. Mine's Eddie Murphy. Okay. I got to put, oh man, I got to get more. I gotta, you say it's four or five? Four. <laughs> got a dog, it's Shannon, man. Eddie I tell Murphy. you, know, I do you this. I give, give me your top five then. All right, Eddie Murphy. Okay. Oh, I'm going to mess you up. Eddie Murphy. Man. You don't say Eddie three times. I, he can't be but one. <laughs> I got to put him here. To me, he didn't miss in the movie, man. Chris Tucker. Okay. Cat Williams. Okay. Kings of Comedy. You can't put all four in there. <laughs> man, you doing, hey, Wayne? That's group, man. <laughs> we can count in the country, Wayne. Damn. <laughs> I know I'm not gonna mess you up there. No, but all those guys, man, everybody, man, like, I'm a comedian. I see the greatness in all of them, you know what right. I mean? And I just think, when it came to a lot of them, I tell everybody about this before I even did my special, I watched Pimpin' Pimpin'. Cause I did my special two, with it, two, two different ways. Right. And people don't understand, Cat Williams' cadence transcended to the new generation. Right. See, it's a new sound in comedy now. Right. Because back in the day, like in hip hop, it's been I was chilling with the, and she would vibe. But now it's like, you know that I'm chilling, you know that I'm vibing, you know that I'm sliding, you know that we drinking. It's a different vibe. Right. So Cat William Cadence was already there. That's why I pimping, pimping. So I took some of that, like, because uh, before I did my special, uh, um, me and Trevor Noah got, we had the same manager, he called me. He said, um, uh, his manager, Derek, was like, Wayne, make sure you slow down on your special because I say, I did it that way, but I looked at it, I, I did it the other way because it's them beats. Mm -hmm. So I just think it's different times for different folks, but some people's timing was already there. Mm -hmm. Like Eddie Murphy already had talked like that in, in the movies. What you doing? What you talking about, man? You know what I'm saying? So it's just some people, and I just think it's different time for different folks, but right. I think every I think all I think every comedian, I think every comedian funny. Even Phase on Love, you still funny to me. You right. know what I'm saying? Now if I was if I went to a comedy show, you want my type to go to. Right. But you still funny to me. I can see why people think you funny because I got a cousin that act like that. You see it in everybody. Right. But, you know, it's different strokes for different folks right. when it comes to comedy, bro. Right. Com comedy sure. the most, <clears throat> they tell you it's the hardest art but it get judged the most. Because people think just because something ain't funny to them, I don't like it. A Taylor, a Taylor Swift song come on, people are like, I don't like that. Well, I'm going to tell you something. It's a lot of people who do. They don't like it. They love it. And that's why I tell Face on Love. It's a lot of people that don't like him. <laughs> because he's probably selling the least out of everybody. <laughs> I know don't come to the club, the prices, buddy. And you still live them. If I was gonna come to the club that long, it ain't, you know what I mean? Come on, bro. You don't you don't feel like doing no five show a week and talking. You just got to hush. Yeah. After so long you've been in there that long, man. Like, come on, man. You talking about the wrong one. I'm up. Your first Netflix special, what did you learn from it? What I learned from that Netflix special? What I learned from um Boy, the internet powerful. That's what I learned. I learned, man, Netflix take you to, now it, I've learned, but internet powerful, but Netflix open you up to, to the different. world. Because I ain't, all the deals and conversations and the stuff that I got, it was because of the special. Right. Uh, I learned Netflix is just, it's a different world. It's more, it's more broad than just my audience. Mm -hmm. You know, and I learned, man, you know, it's, 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 it's a big world out here. Right. You know. What, what can we expect with the new tour, the King of Heart? The King of Heart tour, man, oh, the truth. You know what I'm saying? The King of Heart tour, because now I got that part out of me. A lot of that, my special was an introduction. Mm -hmm. You know Wayne. Now you finna get to know Wayne, Wayne. You know Wayne, you know about his life. But through this special, you finna get to know how I think. Mm -hmm. You finna really open my mind and see how I got to where I'm at. And I don't play. You know what I'm saying? You finna really get to know, boy. He believe in Jesus. Right. But, hey, man, 
Uh, I'm slapping the other cheek. <laughs> you, you ain't turning. You slapping the other cheek. I'm slapping because Jesus said, turn up. When, he, when Jesus said, turn the other cheek, I read that different. I mean, when somebody slap you, the other cheek is on that person. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to slap the fire up. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's what they about to learn about Wayne, bro. Yeah. I ain't, come on, bro. I ain't, that's why I don't bother nobody because I don't play like that. Right. I ain't, man, I was, I, I was so personal. The reason why I don't joke and Joan, because I'm too, I, I'm going to get too personal. I'm going to be like, bro, I'm flyer than you. You know what I'm saying? I, I look better than you. I get, you know what I'm saying? I get the paper. I, and then if, it don't, if that don't work, I'm like, you can't get women like Wayne. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm going to go, I'm going to get personal with that man. So I'm just like, this is what they finna find out about me, how I got here. I don't protect my family just because I'm nice and believe in Jesus. They finna see the lion. So that's what the King of Heart tour about. Why I got the hearts of the people and I ain't just got the flesh. Cause a lot of people got moments. Right. I've been hot the whole time I've been in this game. Right. I ain't feel like I ain't did this yet. Every year I make more money than I made the year before and I'm always bigger. And ain't too many comedians could go on tour by themselves and sell out a theater without 30 people on the flyer. Right. You know what I'm saying? I did that. I, this, is my, this is my third tour with Live Nation. Country Wayne on the flyer. It, it, you know what I mean? And that's what they finna find out about that I don't play them games. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm here, to, I'm here to work, bless the people, bless my family, and I don't really play like that, man. You don't curse in your stand-up. Mm -hmm. Do you curse at home? I, my my kids got all my curse words. <laughs> they got them stuck in them. But, you know, um, no, nah, I don't really curse. I don't really curse at home because I practice it so much in my right. comedy <clears throat> that it just, I naturally now just don't curse that much. But, you know, Sad didn't really curse. He started, he cursed, he had a little curse to his, uh. So. I might when I get old. I'm probably when I get old. I'm probably gonna cuss the hell out on this day. I'm I'm gonna start cursing. Cause they gonna make me curse in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna start. I'm, I say when I get older, man. I'm gonna start. I'm probably gonna start letting it loose. Do you uh? <clears throat> do you ever worry about getting canceled? Nah, man. Cause I ain't scared to lose it all. You know what I'm saying? I lost my mama, so I ain't scared to lose his money or this fame. So right. that's why I think it, it always rise. Right. Cause whatever you fear gonna happen. So I'm like, how you gonna counsel me if my father is God? Wow. I'm like, how? If God is my daddy, how can you control my destiny? Right. If you counsel me for something, that means I wasn't supposed to go over there anyway. So I'm not, I, no, I, don't, I don't feel that. Cause then I'll be trying to dodge everything. Right. No, I don't feel none of that. Cause this, the way, this ain't what feed me. This is what's God using to feed me. Right. So if you take this away, I'd be having, I'd be building fireplace um, grills. Mm -hmm. right. And be the number one fire. I don't, I don't did a lot of things. Right. And God don't show me. He show up in everything. So man, I ain't really. No, nah, I don't move like that. Additions. Have you gone on any edition for movies? Yeah. That's how I got that uh, that project for Apple TV. Okay. I audition. Well, it was a big project, but I don't audition that much anymore. I just like man, either we gonna do it or not. You know what I could bring, and I'm gonna do what I do. I read mm -hmm. when you turned down $5 million. Yeah, it was six. Six million. Yeah, it was five, but they came back and tried to give me six. Well, so what the me, hell were you thinking? They, they were trying to give me six million a year for my Facebook page. Oh, no, no, we're not going to do that. No, they were trying to give me six, but I already knew I was going to make more money because I would turn it up. And they was like, you get six million, then you get 80% uh, of everything you make after that. But I did the math. I'm like, okay, if I'm already making six, Right? Right. They're going to take 20% of everything I make. Right. 20% is 1.2 off six. Right. So I, that leave me with 4.8. Correct. But they say we guarantee you the six don't matter what. So if we make seven, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have 1.4. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have 5.6. Right? Right. And you're like, well, we'll give you the 400 back to get to your six because at least we guarantee you that. Yeah, but you made a million extra and, and I made really zero that. extra. I'm real good at math. Right. And when you be, when you able to count. Well, I see them contracts coming a mile away. Before we even get to my lawyer, I've been on read the whole contract. And I'm like, nah, that ain't making sense number wise. And they try to make, you want to be in business with these people. I was like, I told my agent, I say, I am that company. What I've done on social media, ain't nobody figured out how to do what I do yet. They, it's coming five years from now, everybody gonna be doing what country ain't doing, but I'm ahead of the curve. Right. I know how to monetize with the minimal of things. I don't need nothing. I don't need, I, Right now, I could do a video on, on, on Country Wayne and Shannon Sharp uh, was, was talking about his past. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make me $5,000 in five minutes. And that's, you know what I mean? Make sure you cut me in at $2,500. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, 
No, nah, when they when they came to me with that money, I'm like, no, nah, man, I ain't, that ain't work. Wow, sports. You a Cowboys fan? Oh, How yeah. the hell you get to be a Cowboys fan from Millen, Georgia? Cause Cowboys is the America team. I thought you liked the Falcons. The Falcons was terrible. We Come on, man. <laughs> what the Falcons did to the, what the Falcons did to their fans when they was uh, when they won the first half. Oh, the uh, Super Bowl? Uh, the Super Bowl. Against Tom Brady? Man, when they did that, man, they messed up They messed up the faith of everybody who was going to believe in them and everything. That's like if Jesus would have walked on water and slipped and drowned. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, he walked for a few a few feet. But now. Nah. You don't smoke, don't drink, no really, no uh, no party. So did selling drugs, Did I mean, did you ever drink? Nah, I ain't never smoked. No drink. smoke? No. Nah, because my family did that, man, and they were so talented. Right. And sometimes watching your family, you'll know what you need not right. to do. Right. And sometimes they smoke. Some families can smoke and drink and function. Right. Mine was not like that. Right. So I knew to know who you are, you got to watch your family because we're no different than our family. Right. The answer to your test and your future is watching your family. And mm -hmm. it's something we don't need to see, but it helped you with your future. And right. I was like, oh, man, I can't smoke a drink. Right. You know. The slogan help is on the way. What does that mean to you? I, I mean, to me, like, no matter what you're going through, and it, even if you feel like if you just sit still, it's on the way in a right way. Because help is the right way. Help ain't wrong. Right. So I just think people get too anxious and start to move and start trying to do it on their own. Just do the best you can, man. Whether it's just drink water, you know, um, do what you can. And and help is always on the way. If you just sit, it's be still. But people uh, who, who come before help is saying Wow. He come with a deal way before help come. Right. Because he try to make it happen fast. See, God, he don't want you to be embarrassed. Satan love to embarrass you because I tell people all the time, he don't love to embarrass you. He think he God. So what Satan do, he just so bad at blessing you. He's trying to bless you, but he just ain't good at it. So he get he's, je he's jealous of God because of who he is. It's like Cain and Abel. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I tell everybody, why you think Cain killed Abel? Because Cain ain't Abel. Mm -hmm. When they gave God a gift, he was able and willing. Like one of my sisters asked me, she said, bro, I don't want your money. I don't want your fame. When I'm jealous of you most, how your heart got so good? Because if I had that heart. So that's what God, man, that's why I tell people help is always on the way if you just wait. Because Satan coming, he's coming with a negotiation. Before God come, because and you will know if it's Satan, because when he see you out there, you always fall. Right. He wasn't ready. Like some of the artists, they be like, oh, they ended up on drugs. Well, you got them doing five shows a night. What you think, how they gonna stay up with side sleep? Right. God will have it lined up. If sleep and rest, if you ain't got time to sleep, rest, and get something to eat, that ain't God. Right. Cause I'm gonna get me something to eat and I'm gonna rest. <laughs> if I can't get my eight hours and something to eat, this ain't for me. God wouldn't want me to move like this. And I just feel like, I just tell everybody, man, help is always on the way. God gonna bring peace. He gonna give you some money. He gonna give you time for your family. That Peace and peace go together. Whether it's the P-I-E-C-E -E or P-A-C-E. Right. You gonna have a you gonna have you gonna get the money, but you gonna have time for your family too. Because right. if you don't nurture <clears throat> your kids or what's coming, they gonna lose your money anyway. Right. Money ain't nurturing. It's conversations. Hey son, you can't do that. You can't do that. You gotta do this. You gotta work hard. If your coach gonna do this, you gotta stand in head. I play Monopoly with my kids. I'm finna let them investment. I had to you play Monopoly to teach them how to invest in properties with right. me. So if I ain't had that time, but just out here getting money, I'm just. Man, you be trying to buy a bar, boy walking park play. Man, my son, boy, listen here. <laughs> man, my sons get mad at me so much at Monopoly. It's ridiculous. They really want to fight me. <laughs> so they use Monopoly to uh to say what they really want to say all day anyway. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we, we get serious about that Monopoly around my house now. Appreciate it. I, Country Wayne. I appreciate you, brother. All my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice. Hustle pay the price, wanna slice, got the roll of dice, that's why all my life, I've been grinding all my life, look, all my life, been grinding all my life, sacrifice, hustle pay the price, wanna slice, got the roll of dice, that's why.